Yeah. So for uh, those of you that are wondering, we do have Mr. Eric Joseph with us here from G Technic. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, wow. yay! He flew in all the way from Atlanta this morning, left Woo. his house at 4.30 hmm. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah. he's feeling it right Eastern. now. Eastern, I mean. <laughs> Opposite way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I said Pacific. I was thinking of the ocean. Yeah, no, that's earlier. Eastern Standard Time. So that's uh, that was uh, two thirty this morning, Boise wow. time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And here we are, twelve hours later. He's sitting here that in front of a nuts. microphone. Wow, he's definitely feeling it's it. Crazy. Now. We yeah. did get to fill his belly with truffle fries. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, some bougie fries. There was a uh, truffle salt, duck fat. And that's not all we filled his belly with. No. Uh, there was a burger. In there, there was as a well. burger. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> and what was the name of the place? We went to Boise Fry Company yeah. as always. Yeah. You know, we like so to bring B- our guests. BFC, not BFC, not BFH. No, just checking. Or BFG yeah. if you play Doom. Sorry, one person's that's my gonna laugh that, at that. Those, that was, uh, <laughs> those are my yeah, DOS space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we are here. Uh, you guys are in town because we're gonna be doing our live Rap Institute live tomorrow. Yeah. Little well, event. It's gonna be fun. We got the guys from Fellers, from the Rap Institute, from Avery, from G Technic, uh, and our friends at Bacon. Yes. To provide us some delicious treats. Well, yeah. we wrap Ragnarok. Yeah. It's going to be fun. You can yeah. wrap your arteries with. Yeah. Well, not only while you wrap your car, you can wrap your <laughs> arteries with some delicious bacon. Oh, Eat yes. More of it. I, uh, I love it. <laughs> it's uh, be I good. really do uh, appreciate that humor, Levi. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Don't worry. Wow. We'll answer Let's detailing answer questions. questions. Oh, okay. We're just building yeah. up an audience right now. <laughs> yeah, everybody. The problem is like we only have like five, so we got to get all these guys. So, all right. oh, right. someone's already asking where Next Day Nate is. Oh, he's already built a so. reputation for himself now. Next Day Nate. Never heard of him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Some people no? call him Nitrous Nate. Ooh. I, uh, no, I've never, never, never who, seen. Who the guy. calls him that? Himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> he calls himself. Wow. Him. Yeah. That's good stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's get into this. Rectangle, right off the bat. Swoop. <laughs> Panhandle. So whoop. Panhandle. I said that wrong. I said swoop. Hmm. Uh, I think it's like a so what's up. A so, so whoop. Oh, so, so, whoop. Whoop. so whoops up. So, so whoops so up. Whoop. So. Anyway, Dan Pfeiffer. Word yeah. up from Minneapolis. Our old friend Dan does. Pfeiffer, he likes to let us know how cold it is. Always. I'm pretty sure winter. Dan right. has that line on Control C because every time oh, yeah. he hops in here, it is, <laughs> uh, he it is quite word up from Minneapolis. Word Minneapolis. document. From says, Minneapolis. Word up from Minneapolis. From it's a cold dog. day here. In the I don't know if it actually Minnesota. is that cold. Uh, so Dan Pfeiffer uh, says, just finished my first uh, concrete job. Uh, correction. <laughs> Levi, and, uh, <laughs> Levi, I took your advice and used no pressure, yet I still burned right through. Oh, my God, Dan Pfeiffer. Da- right through the clear. You did it right. Now what? Oh. Just slap some Optimum CCR on it and call it good? Yep. Dan Pfeiffer, I don't know if you were taking Levi's. Oh, just <laughs> kidding. My first two-step turned out Whew. great. Okay, thank God. Good save. It was a lot of work for my one car. How does Dane keep up with the three cars for one guy? Right. Well, have you ever seen the video, two <laughs> girls, I'm sorry, wait, three, Whoa, three cars, wait, what? one well, guy. Well, you know, um, it's yeah. with Dane being the prince of the rag company, yeah. he's oh. able to afford such luxuries yes. as a, uh, a, a $1,200 a, car, a as a Miata. And Mazda Miata Deadpool edition. <laughs> yeah. The, followed that, that up was, with a 2000 16, I believe, 16? 14. 2014. 14. It's a five-year-old car. Ford C Max Le- with C Max and leather. with leather G. with leather. Mm. What is uh, C Max? Uh, the only reason I got it was because it had a 620 mile range, and I went, "Okay, that can be the it's like simple a daily driver. Just get it done. It's a fat Focus. It's a what fat it is. Focus with, with a battery um, pack. Okay, and yeah. I want to point out though, so it's a it Focus does... Prius kind Correct. of correct. Yeah. It so I don't have the Prius problem of people looking at you and going, the glass oh, you drive a Prius. Oh, his does not. Yes. <laughs> not the glass well, roof. He couldn't you know, opt for that that. Dan likes option. to but race that car, so you know he I, didn't want it to you break. You know what I really like? I like the odd windows in front of the mirrors. I always thought that mm. was an odd uh, feature well, a, for the C-Max. On a it's lot a of modern like, feature. Econobox hatchbacks and stuff, it's a thing. Like the well, Honda Fit's got them. A lot of these cars have them now. They used to be the cigarette window. Some cars have more windows. On a lot of trucks and cars, you'd have the little, like, Twisted around and yeah. it's called a vent window, Dan. Yeah, you got the vent window. They don't do those. Those anymore. of us who I wish used they to would. be smokers used to really love those features. Yeah, because you'd kick it open. And I don't smoke, but I still love them. The, you'd the put it out in front of you, so you'd have a little shield where the ashes could not could, uh, fly uh, back it, in your face. They would not fly back in. They'd fly, be sucked out of mm. the vehicle. 
Into the C-Max. Into no the seat back into the back seat. To the yeah. person about, oh. I really like that feature. <laughs> that really right back nice. in your face. Really great. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, and then he has a Volvo, brand new Volvo, V50 brand, R design. And, and, brand well, new and what most 06. people don't know is this is a... A rare car. A rare car. <laughs> a <laughs> unicorn, <laughs> if you will. One um, of the red, hardest just cars. Like Here, yeah, one of the hardest hard cars time. to work on ever because <laughs> yeah. there are no Chilton or Haynes manuals available. So Swedish. Can you well, it's a that? Swedish vehicle. You I know. know. Uh, but Swedish they Ford. have not been yeah. able to publish a Chilton because of <laughs> how Swedish, well, Swedish that car is. It's a Volvo wagon. Yes. And that's what people don't understand is that is an extremely rare car. <laughs> Volvo wagons are some of the most <laughs> rarest vehicles on the market. You can't find them anymore. You can't. No, nobody has them. Yeah. At all. Just, like, so you're really so, gonna make me be the well, the Corvette guy who goes well in this particular color with this particular transmission. It actually is rare. I'm pretty sure you've said that. Is it? Yeah. And that's next that's to my Miata? only excuse. It's the one out there. Yeah. Yeah. So it both are. Like, it's a six side speed side. manual. But that's not that's his not Miata. His Miata. That's, that's, no. That's uh, his friend Jimmy. <laughs> that's friend Jimmy. That's our Jimmy, editor Jimmy. That's editor Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy Junior. That's Jimmy Junior's Miata. That is his Miata. Um, Jimmy has two Miatas. To Correct. Dane's one. Yeah, to Dane's that one. That one's about 10 different colors, and then his other one's the nice one. I like to measure wealth in Miatas and or Honda Groms. Mm. And like Jimmy's doing pretty many, good. Uh, yeah. Jimmy yeah. is doing fantastic. He's I, two Miatas. I balling. have one yeah. Grom. Dane has one Miata. He has two Miatas. I have no Miatas. You have no Miatas or Groms. But he does Neither. have an Elantra, so. Well, the Elantra trumps all. Yeah, well, the well, Elantra that is a, is that a is true bold statement. Machine. Well, I mean, you know, when you're looking for that kind of horsepower and that kind of handling and that kind of quick off the line performance, a 2006 Hyundai Elantra, <sighs> yeah, GLS. Hmm. Some I mean, say nothing. when it is not parked at the Rag Company, it actually lives most of its life at the Atlanta Motorsports Park. True, mm. true. Where it does set new. Um, lap it beats times. radicals all day long. Yes. Some would Smoke say we them. haven't answered it. any detailing questions yet, and there are people mm. wondering what's going to happen. It's no. all right. <laughs> Uh, also, we're Ricky, dominating the Ricky conversation. We did more Eric here. Uh, Levi, take it away. Hello from rainy San Juan, <laughs> Puerto Rico. Happy that my TRC order arrived today to my office. Looking forward to seeing it all on Monday when back from vacation. Oh, man, Ricky, I'm sorry. But at least it's there. So <laughs> yeah. Safe and sound. BFH detailing. It's 5 o'clock. Let's go, Eric. Yeah. He's here. He's got his coffee. He's ready to rock. Yeah, he's Ben's a, a little bit of a you-know-what buster. He's ready to do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> recharge. Rectangle again. I hear a lot of good things about C2V3. 95% of the Subaru detailing group only use that. What, they love what, that what would you say I, to that, Eric? It's almost like a I, friend of mm, ours is oh, uh, a champion at that. Uh, I would, uh, I I would one, say that one, that's, that's a fair number. <laughs> yeah, that's a <laughs> now, fair number. Eric, is this the standard size of this product? No, that's the baby bottle. Oh, okay. okay. So we were only good enough to get the baby bottle here. We got a lot of them, though. A full case, though. <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Because there's a lot of you guys. There is, a, there is a lot of us, and we do want to experience the magic that is this numbered bottle. I can't wait. But that will yeah. do all of the Miatas. All of them. Are you kidding me? At least three, if not five. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty that baller. is exciting. Three to five um, Miatas worth. How many Groms? Oh, That's got to do like more. 40 Groms. At least, at least 42. I was going <laughs> to say the conversion rate <laughs> yeah. is three Groms to one Miata. So uh, No, it's got to be bigger than that. Well. Three grams to one Miata? Yeah. I feel like just I, in... It's a lot of surface area. In, in terms of footprint, yeah. three grams to a Miata. I feel like we need a, a tape measure and more time. So let's keep mm, going. Yes. Um, all right. So BFH says, C2 is liquid gold. Nice. Good work, Ben. Yep. Wow. And we got Pan Rectangle says, uh, <laughs> who is the Anthony guy? Where's next day, Nate? Mm. It's on the other side of that wall. Sorry, missing him. <laughs> I don't know who Nate is. There is not a guy named Nate that works here at the rag company. There that was a fever dream. Me. It was imagined. There's only ever been me. Hmm. Um, Our old friend Delphine, Delphine. Bez says, hi, hey. everyone. Hey, Hello. Delphine. What's going on? <laughs> Tim Armstrong with an actual question. What's oh. the best method to apply G-Technic Smart Fabric V2 to the interior of a brand new car? Eric, inform that, us. That is a great question with an easy answer. Mm. So first and foremost, take your mats out of the car. Second, make sure your doors and windows are open. It is alcohol-based. So if you start spraying it around in there, make sure you're very ventilated. Third, a light application on Take your clean hit. fabric with a soft or medium oh, brush. Yeah, that's, that's good. Brush the piles each way, and you're done. Nice. Well, that's not too hard. Easy. No, yeah, that's super easy. So no, <laughs> um, no vacuum after the fact or anything like that. How long do you want to wait for it to cure, technically? So it will be, once it's dry to the touch, it is good to go. Oh, oh yeah. good. good to yeah, that makes it real simple. Gabe Lopez wondering, what on a Friday? Jeff didn't give you guys the day is off? <laughs> no. no. No, he gave us yesterday off. Yeah, yesterday um, we had a little And then he fed all of us at his home. Lake party. 
Yeah, <laughs> it did happen where my dogs were wel- welcomed with open arms. They were. And peed on all of his bushes. <laughs> people yep. people love the dogs, and the dogs love those bushes. Yeah. Your dogs were really enjoying it. <laughs> they really did. It was fun to watch them get in the water, though. They loved uh, jumping in the lake. Huck was a little unsure for his first uh, he jump. He was. Poor guy. He ripped one of his uh, p- uh, paws. Yeah. Oh, no. He also yeah. ripped, uh, uh, ripped my wife's leg. Oh, oh. Was holding on to him. Oh, so. no. While they were in the water well, together. He had a life vest, so he was, you know, <laughs> he was hanging in there. He was spazzing out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep him awesome. floating. Ah, uh, Andrew. Told you. Mm. Yeah, we're going to need to go again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. there was a... Uh, so Andrew, was you're it? missing Six out. sauces, we're eight sauces. Ta- we'll take you on Monday. <laughs> yeah. We'll take you on Monday. He doesn't need those bougie fries that we had. I am feeling very heavy. Yeah. And wet. How do you think? Perfect way to... I don't know. (laughs) They always feel heavy and wet. I feel (laughs) heavy all the time. Dane's always heavy and wet. Oh, sick. Well, that's what he said. He goes, I feel heavy and wet. Uh, Oh, no. I didn't say that. And then you said, yeah, how do you think I feel? Where's G. Davis? Because this is going to get wild. I'm already already feeling like this is going to get a little uh, loopy today. Such a tiny room. Into questionable territory already. Yeah. But he's going to want that sauce, though. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Salmon Films. Why is Eric's van so cool? Ooh. That's just that's just England Hold taking up. What, over, Bobby. What van you got? We got the 19 Transit on some coils and some 18s. This guy knows that no that up. that van that was that's, the van yeah. that was in the back of our video. Yeah, Insane. I remember that one. Insane that one was van. clean. It's a dope van. Yeah. I would love well, that, to be inside that van. That was True Shine <laughs> Eric Witz. <clears throat> what? So we are like following one step behind him. Really? Yeah. So True Shine's he, got the body kit on it, which you think is bad, but in yeah. the van it's so good. So in the van, what kind of luxuries would I expect to find? Um, you know, a steering wheel, wow. a gear shifter. It's a cargo Holy van, Anthony. Yeah, a gas pedal, and uh, uh, two seats. Do power windows nice. by chance? Yes, or? and locks. Stop it. He needs a new channel called All Day Van. I don't know who that is. It's All Day Van. All right, <laughs> let's right. continue on. Delphine Make it happen. says, Hi, I am now using your G-Wash shampoo. What dilution do you recommend for a super foam that won't damage waxes or spray sealants? Like, like bead maker. maker. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. Ouch. 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 Just Delphine. Digging. I love Dig. it. Dig it in. Touch it. Twist the knife. This is fun. We'll, we'll I love just, this. We'll just divert. Delphine, we're going to save you some money. <laughs> right? You're going to go over to W4 Citrus Foam, and you're going to use it at a very light dilution, which is going to give you the cleaning you want with the foam you want and not damage the other products that are out there. Oh, nice. That are <laughs> nice. out there. I like that. Andrew Thayer, how do you guys like the IK Pro sprayers? I ordered mine last week. I'm looking forward to using them. We love them. They're great. The pros, they're the, really the nice. The twos are really cool. Don't buy them. <laughs> He's just like, kidding. I kind of want anybody but these guys. Anthony wants to keep them all for himself. Kidding, yeah. I really <laughs> would like to start storing them and reselling them on the black market. Mm. Oh. Great idea. Yeah. Nice. Um, make, make some good money. I need, yeah, I need a lot down to be that start to get that started. But uh, no, they're they're great sprayers. You'll check them out. You'll really like them. Right now, we have them on sale for the twenty percent off. Best deal you're probably going to find all year. Um, yeah, twenty percent off, especially because they come with the four ounce of uh, um, of optimal car wash and the four ounce of O and R. So you'll pretty much be ready to use them right out of the gate. Yeah, pretty dope. Good stuff. There we go. Luis Vasquez says, God bless everyone. Hope you all had an awesome fourth. Thanks. What a Thank guy. you. What a guy, back Luis. At you. What a guy. Dan right Pfeiffer says you. it's actually plenty hot and humid here. Ah. It's shocking. Well, it's a lot better than Summer. Dane being hot and wet. That's true. Nobody well, no, wants that. Is, that. I, I think Dane that. is hot and humid anyway. That is kind I would of like what to also I'm actually Dane. not at all because this fan is really helping And today. blowing it all, all right. into me. So <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who ate the duck fries. So. Did I? Yeah. I may have. He's uh, sweating it out right I, I now. I literally am shiny right now. Can you see that <laughs> <laughs> These uh, bright lights, you know. Yeah. That's I have a uh, <laughs> CJ Burn 27. I have a ceramic coating with a top coat. The issue is pollen on the coating coupled with rain. I get wicked spots on the car, and the pollen almost stains the top coat. An Optimum Car Wash Soap doesn't. Hmm. I feel like that's not finished. Yeah, it's hmm. still typing. Uh, it was there for a minute. Let's see there. Anyway, oh, it touched the oh, spots. Oh, there we go. I need to use an APC to remove them. Is that normal? Oof. Uh, I don't. It's it's hard to tell CJ without uh, figuring out what you're talking about. So, email me Levi at the Simple, simple uh, solution. Delphine, would you bother to apply your C4 inside of plastic honeycomb grills? I have a lot around my Range Rover Evoque, so they matter a lot for its overall look. Look, but who does it? <laughs> he almost he made got it. who does yeah. this. <laughs> Delphine, Close. grab yourself a small, inexpensive airbrush with proper ventilation and get on in there. So we've seen that. We've seen that. How, so how simple is that? Like, could you potentially do that 
Um, on a grom? That, yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> forgive me, if I because I, I don't know. Um, if you were to go get an airbrush kit from, let's just say, Harbor Freight, right? Because mm-hmm. they have some pretty affordable ones. With a 20% off coupon? With, uh, <laughs> of, of course. Or the 30% oh. super coupon that's only available like three times a year. Unless um, you Google it on your phone when you're <laughs> at the register and it still works every time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like, do these actually expire? They don't. Nope. Um, so <laughs> using one of those mm-hmm. and, and C4. You yeah. can use that. Good to go. Okay, cool. Good to go. I, just... I, well, I feel like a lot of people are like, I don't want to buy this expensive airbrush no, it's for bucks. this yeah. situation that, you know, I'm only doing this every once in a while, like a honeycomb grill mm-hmm. or an area that needs you know, <clears throat> an airbrush. So we don't technically train it because of the personal protection that would yeah. have to be involved yeah. for a professional environment. But anyone who's using the C line, so C1, C4, mm-hmm. C5, yeah. at their house or in their driveway, as long as you're being safe with it, people spray it all the time. Cool. So. Wear a mask, right? But you'd yes. recommend putting some type of, of yeah, absolutely. A proper, if you okay. if you're yeah. spraying it all day, every day, you know, definitely glove up. You yeah. know, full breathing, the whole mind. But well, that's 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 really cool. It's a really cool way to way to do it, though. Yeah, I mean, easy time really, saver. Really Quick. big time saver. I like that a lot. Just turn the pressure down pretty low. You want it to just mist out. We're not looking to actually paint clear coat here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, got it. You'll buy more product, which I, you know, guy it's Chris nice will like, and all, but, but no, yeah. Well, Bucks is back. Hey. <laughs> hey. My man. Good to see you, brother. But uh, Minister of Fresh said something horrible. Oh. I am just uh, shocked. That's so CJ offensive. He said, uh, he said that message. That was the left of that. Okay. Okay. Message <laughs> retracted Yeah, is what he said. It's a pretty mean-hearted thing to say, man. You just, you're just you one of our new grand ambassadors. So I'm <laughs> pretty shocked. Aggressive. Uh, <laughs> Luis Vasquez, <laughs> Anthony, I just subscribed to your YouTube channel. I didn't know that you had one. I love that vid of you detailing your Civic. Wait don't for know, tomorrow, Luis. Yeah. Don't know what you're talking Ooh. about, Luis. I, uh... Gabe Lopez says, Anthony has a YouTube channel? Question Whoa, mark. Oh, they're yeah, finding they got, it. If you search Anthony Fisher, it doesn't come up. I have, no, I haven't. No, Anthony Fisher has a, has a YouTube oh, channel. But I okay. think I have like three subscribers on there. I don't mm. know if that's... Well, there's well, one, one right there. right there, Luis. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, cool. Apparently. Thank, hey, thanks for subscribing to me. <laughs> Maybe we should film there. the cam cracking tomorrow. Hopefully you like my, my content. I, I don't know what I'm Rather the there. cam crack than the block. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, talking about cracks is fun. All right, let's get into this. Uh, Tony Harlem, um, is it Harlan? Harlan. Harlan um, says, Hey guys, recently uh, cleaned the interior of my truck with ONR and an Eagle Edgeless, and it seems like uh, some kind of clear coat is coming off of my passenger door plastic. Any ideas? Mm. Depends on the kind of truck it is and what you're talking about because. There may wouldn't, be yeah, that wouldn't a, have been a it wouldn't have been a cause because of the eagle of the O and R. It'd be no. more of a cause of you've cleaned it and then you've if kind of if the door panel was re dyed, mm-hmm. it could just be paint. That's what I was thinking. It. Yeah, um, and that's what's coming off. And that was if you bought the vehicle used. Well, and then also on, like, let's just say it's a silver handle, right? You know how they use that silver mm-hmm. type of paint, right? Yeah. Um, could just be paint. There is mm-hmm. paint. I've also seen those cleared before. Um, and I've seen that come off as well. Yeah, there's like you know, unless it's a brand new truck and you still have all the plastic on it. <laughs> and you're pulling the plastic off after you washed it. That's the only That's other way it would happen. There's nothing thing. more satisfying. It's like when we were in Orlando and we got a uh, brand new Suburban that still had all the plastic on it. And we did the pre-delivery. Uh, the pulling yeah, off. Yeah, pulling off we, of that stuff. CDI. We, no, we yeah. each pulled one off in yeah. that car. Yeah, it was great. It was satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Well, you helped. And I, and I helped Dane pull one off in yeah. the back. Yeah. And he helped me pull mine off. Yep. And, and I we pulled were... mine off in the front. With Jeff. While Jeff was driving. You, you helped pull Jeff off, yeah. yeah Jeff Jeff did it himself because he had to hold on to the steering wheel. <laughs> but he was able to get, we were able to get all it's the plastic. This is already no able to get all were. the plastic off. No. Eric is it was like, awesome. what am I doing right no. now? I feel get like back, home. Let's, get, let's get back to detailing questions. Uh, okay. Minister of Fresh. He's back. Oh. What up, fam? Looking forward to seeing the wrap complete. Excited for you, Levi. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate it. It's I'm excited have a too. Sweet truck when he's done. Uh, ben Sroka. Hey guys, long time no see. Finally got my gallon of Brake Buster, but don't have a foamer. What dilution should I use with a regular spray bottle? Huh. Five to one. Yeah. Pretty Dan Pfeiffer. Forward. Eric, what's the real world difference between Crystal Serum Ultra and Crystal Serum Light? Great question, Dan. Again, so light is eighty percent of Ultra across the board. That was Rob, the owner's plan the whole time. Okay. So okay. there is definitely benefits to Ultra. You really have to weigh it out if you're doing it for your business or not and see which one fits for you. But CSL is a 
that's this is good. pretty amazing by itself. Well, that's so cool. I think so. Matt Mormon on his one uh, M, he has light on that, right? Yes, okay. he's become yeah. quite the fan. Yeah, no, he has though. He's been yeah. saying that a lot. He's been saying he's been spreading the word of uh, of light and saying that he really really likes it. And everybody knows that if he's confident in it, then yeah. they can be yep. as well, which is really cool. Yep, it's pretty rad. Luis, so last time I asked you guys about boats, and on my part, I didn't give you enough information ah. about them. Sorry. I know they're both white gel coats. Okay. I remember Any coatings those. for boats? <clears throat> so the we actually started, believe it or not, back in the late 90s in Marine. Oh, so it's a little part, of, little part of the history we'll probably get into throughout the week. But uh, C1, so coating one, was mm-hmm. one of the first products that was made. And that was made and still made to the, this day for our a little bit of everything. If, if people call up and they want to, they have a single stage Miata. It happens. Or a multicolored single stage Miata. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. a weird matte black on a Honda Grom. Yeah. It's, the answer is always C1. It, I don't know if it's a weird matte black. I would say that it's just a matte black. Eric? I'm Mine. with Eric on this one. Uh, okay. It's, uh, you know, when I like did, when it's did a little, you put matte black on your Grom? I like keeping things a little weird. My, oh, okay. my, 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 my Grom well, has some matte black on it. They all hmm. do. They, they, it's just a thing. Okay. It's a Grom <laughs> thing. You wouldn't understand. It's an yeah. accessory. <laughs> I don't know that much <laughs> about black. them. Other than um, that they're like a small. miniature racing bike? Uh, high performance uh, racing bike oh. in smaller uh, form. <laughs> okay. I take it to the track. For children. Uh, uh, miniature uh, being the high performance. No, children no, it, motorcycles. It, it, uh, it is for 230 pound men, uh, oh, okay. such as myself. Um, okay, so here Whoa. we go. So Delphine Bez says, I'd like to use your C4 ceramic on my black and gray trim. I have, no, you missed oh, 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 sorry, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Delphine Bez says, what UV protection would you recommend for headlights in a tropical country? So since I dissed the Grom, we're going to go back to the last answer. <laughs> oh, sorry. With C1. There you go. Believe yeah. it or not. So C1 for boats and anything that's kind of strange. Uh, phenomenal UVA and UVB protection. And for the boat guy, top it with C0 and you're going to love it. But nice. headlights, multiple layers of C1. There, there we go. go. <clears throat> Buck so got now, in trouble. This is awesome. Buck says C2V3 the world. <laughs> but don't drink it. Uh, oh, please. Uh, don't. FC says, Word up from Blaine, Minnesota, kind of near Dan Pfeiffer. Just did my first coat of Beadmaker to celebrate the fourth. Used all 16 ounces. Love it. Spread it with an Eagle 500. Final wipe with a double twistress. Good work, Jeff. Boom. Spreading Enjoy everything that. with an Eagle is always better. We <laughs> love spreading Eagles. Uh, Buck agrees. <laughs> Rocky, Ricky Colon, uh, message retracted. Ricky, I thought you were better than that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Delphine Bez, I'd like you to use C4 ceramic on my black and gray trim. Oh, I'd like to use. Uh, I have no garage, and a little rain can always fall in the Caribbean. So is it clearly a no-go? What about the sun? My car's white. Get it away from the rain. Other than that, you're good, man. There you go. Ricky, uh, whoa. Oop. I really want to know what Buck said. Are there G-Technic <laughs> dealers in Puerto Rico? Planning on CSL and EXO for my car, but would prefer to buy locally if possible. Yep. There's a couple of guys down there that stock it, and as time progresses, they'll be a little more formal. There okay. you go. So maybe just check out G-Technic North America. Yep. Yeah, you guys you list see, your uh, distributors. Where the distributors are. Danny Israel, happy fourth week, guys. Welcome back. Part-time Anthony. Oh, Danny. <laughs> oh. That, uh, that comment's hitting a little oh. more home than usual today. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hans uh. closing. Uh, says, Buck Hello. said something mean. Yeah, yeah, he oh, did. Oh, horrible. Bucks, we need you here, bud. Like, I don't How know that? why you would say <laughs> something like that. I feel like maybe he probably texted me. Hans says, hello, guys. Today is a great day. I don't know about that, but it is. Um, I got one, uh, my one-wing kit. Del- oh, my gosh. You Finally. Got it. Wow. Finally. Delivered today. Delivery guy girl hates me now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Hans, it was the lucky recipient of the uh, Andy Ward one-wing, one-wing challenge, challenge kit. Oh, had some. So I mean, it had the whole Ruben, minute, had the uh, entire kit. It had the, uh, had the 15. Had came the with a rotary, rotary, a 15, a 3-inch. Yeah. Uh, Came with a slew of pads Correct. from Rupes ton, and ton. Lake Country. Yeah, uh, a pile of towels from us. Yeah, came with a uh, two PR two uh, KXK um, stands. Yeah, as well as an entire punch set. Yeah, and uh, what else was in there? Some T-shirts, some hats, some stickers. There was well over two grand worth of stuff in that. <sighs> yeah, kit. well over. That was a. It, it was, was a huge. good a pile box. of stuff. Yeah. it was a lot it of stuff. It was so. one of those things that, was, uh, that we own banners, signed banners. Want to see a photo shoot with? Oh, and he yeah. got the ro- he got Andy's <laughs> robot hand. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. He got Andy's That's robot hair. That is gross. Do not touch that. <laughs> Spray it with Lysol. Enjoy that. And put it in a shadow box of some sort. Andy's mm-hmm. robot hand. That's gross. It was, there's sweat. I think there's oh, and the eye patch. hair from his arm. A little bit of blood. Towel. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of blood. Yeah. And his eye patch as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Sweaty tears. eye patch. That's just what so, went into that challenge. All so enjoy, Hans. All of it. Good. <laughs> uh, Alan says, Levi, a couple, ye- uh, a couple uh, ca- uh, cats ago. What's that say? A couple what? casts? Casts? Levi, a couple casts ago, oh. I asked uh, twice uh-huh. about interior detail order. Both times the stream cut out. Oh, Third no. Times the oh, Alan, are you going to be so excited? My entire standard operating procedure is now live on the ragcompany.com. Yeah. You can go on the website. And uh, you should be able to, to check it out in our facts, yeah. uh, our FAQs. Um, it has an entire listing of how I do a car. Straight up standard operating procedure. You can pull it up. It's got uh, prepping, interiors, and exteriors. Everything you need to know. So now you don't have to worry about me listening or the internet cutting out. You can just go straight there. And you can print it out, I believe, too. So. You can refer to it anytime. Yep. It's wow. a great way. 23 right. years of experience. <laughs> production detailing right there he so. figured it out guys all right tim armstrong when applying smart fabric v2 to the interior carpet mats do i apply it heavily heavy heavenly and then wipe it in with a it microfiber towel mm. tim we uh we did just answer that question and it was a uh spritz a light mist a brush it's better to go with a few light coats than it is to go heavy there you go mm. give it a little brush boom done mark kraus does bead maker leave a film behind I have a black infinity, and after applying bead maker, it leaves smudges and streaks. Is it me, or am I doing something wrong? Uh, you shouldn't have any smudges or streaks. You uh, probably either have some type of contamination on the surface that is preventing it, or you're not wiping off the bead maker enough. Or if it's hot, humid, you want to be applying more to the towel, less to the surface. That too. If you're in the southern climate, that's where you need to watch out. Bucks says, uh, "Can we use W6 in hmm. the IK sprayer? What is W6?" W6 Watch. is our ferrous iron remover, and you already know you can. <laughs> yes. Call done. them. It's done. Yeah. Is our Bucks, pass 61. Is Bucks uh, uh, messing with you? <laughs> no. No, I really want to know probably what, is legitimately what was asking this question. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's because he pulled that back like three different times. Yeah. Yeah. He, he really likes toys, so mm. he's just probably waiting to pull the trigger on it, and he loves his W6. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Done Make a sound. Have any of you guys added APC to us? Oh, our, our Paz. Yeah. Hello, Eric and Levi. Rob Paz here. Hope everyone had a great 4th of July. Thanks, Rob. It was Appreciate wonderful, it. Rob. Hey, Thank you. It was wonderful. Makes you it, wonder what the 61 well, means. he didn't say that you to me and Dane, I know. So we're left out. Just Eric and Levi. I'm just taking it and owning it and saying thank you anyway. Nope. You can keep your mouth shut. It's Dane, ours. We're yeah. taking for me. it. Don't worry. Rob <laughs> for me and Eric. Tough. Not for you. Tough. Uh, Gerald Rodriguez, have any of you guys added APC to a snow foamer? Yes. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the pretty time. normal. Yeah. Yep. The cocktail, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Tim Armstrong, regarding G-Technic C6 matte dash, I heard from someone that they had issues with white spotting when mm. rain droplets dried on the interior plastics. Have you heard anyone having this issue? We have not. Honestly, I, I read that earlier. Um, I've had issues with some other water-based protectants that were pretty much leaving where the water droplet was, like if you go through a drive through um, but I've not seen that with matte dash. So I'll have to play with it and check it out. Hmm. Uh, Noted. Okay. Rectangle. Does G-Technic have their own line of compounds and polish? We do have one polish rectangle. Um, we like to stick with what we know best, though. I'll leave it at that. Ah, nice. Luis I Vasquez. That. Yeah, yeah, I like thank you, that. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Yeah, I paid like $300 for a snap-on airbrush. Haven't used it yet. Would it be safe to use if it's meant for painting? Mm. Yes. Absolutely. Get some of the money back, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> start spraying. Take a few start jobs. Using it. Yeah, yeah, got another thing to pay for itself. <laughs> paying for itself. Okay. Tony Harlan zero. Tony cool. Harlan 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD brand. Okay. All right. Was he had, did he have a question earlier? He did. He was talking about the truck. Remember the mm. the, the, the clear. Oh, the out. new truck. What was he using? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, uh, I don't know, dude. It's probably a repair. Probably repair. That's yeah. what that is. Mm. So. Simon Bach tried out G1 Smart Glass for the first time the other day. It seems like other glass coatings. Am I using too much? Am I doing something wrong? It's like a 100 mil bottle, if that matters. Simon, if you use the whole 100 mil bottle, your forearm is going to be large. So that is the bulk container. Um, We do have a 15 mil kit of G1 and G2, and that's going to do one entire car. Wow. So the 100 mil bottle, 10 plus cars. Let's say 100 mil. That sounds like a lot. It's a lot, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you're going to be protecting that glass for a long time. <laughs> yep. No but kidding. Less is more, just like Smart Fabric, light coats. G2 will take it right off. There's a bunch of videos out there. We're working on some new ones um, to make it much, much, much more approachable and easy. Yeah. Super, super simple once you nail it. Nice. Okay. Oh, Simon Bach says, uh, oh, that was it. Luis says, Luis. yeah, the YouTube channel's name is, Chanel's name is all day, and Tohoney. Tahoney. Oh, yes, Antahoney. that's the one. So I'll have to look mm. that up. I wonder how many yeah. subscribers he yeah. has. Yeah, I like Antahoney's channel. I've watched it. It's pretty good. You mm-hmm. have Antahoney's. Yeah. W- yeah. Uh, what kind of content would you find? Uh, on there? It's mostly uh, like he does kind of motorcycle vlogging, but it's mostly scooters. Mm. And like fifty cc's and like below. fifty cc's and below. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan and then the other the, thing uh, d- is nice. he doesn't nice. work on actual civics. Yeah. He works on. Early civics, like, like S, a, like CVCC, a waggle van. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And his thing is, uh, or like a Z six hundred. Let's clean yeah. Hondas again. That's what his slogan is. Let's clean Hondas again. Let's clean let's Hondas clean again. Let's clean Hondas again. Yeah. Mm. I like that. I would so, wear a shirt with that on it. That could be pretty cool. That'd be. I mean, I. No. I don't know. I mean, it's one of those hmm. things all day and to All right, Jack S. says, because uh, Han said something inappropriate. Han, oh. he probably dropped that entire <laughs> die punch set on his foot. <laughs> he did. He yelled. And he's like, ah, F, F this. And then he's like, oh, I can't Because he's that. from the Netherlands. Yeah, so. he retracted that. Yeah. Is someone yeah. going to bring us a printout of what's retracted? Uh, no. No, unfortunately Only not. YouTube knows We just sure. have to assume that it was something yeah, we always just assume the worst yeah. of the person. Got it. Yeah. So, so. Uh, Jack is so uh, says, do you have any beginner tips for CSL and EXO? I've never applied a coating myself. This is a great, uh, great it's question. A wonderful here. question. However, I've watched a lot of content on the application process to prep myself. What are some must-know tips? This is good. It's a great one. So, Jack, prep, prep is king, right? So, save you a little bit of money, too. If you go on the website and you buy our kits, it's going to save you quite a bit. So CSL and XO comes with a kit with a 250 mil. This is not panel wipe, but of panel wipe. One of the mistakes people use, um, that people have, is they'll not use panel wipe. So definitely, definitely, definitely use panel wipe. Definitely find some quality microfiber towels Hmm. that are not contaminated with anything else. So spend a couple of bucks, get them new. Some nice towels. Once you're done, some nice towels. They're going to get tossed out. It's just part of it. It's all good. And the best advice I can give you is just don't overthink it. Yeah. It is not difficult. Yeah. At all. Well, panel wipe kicks some serious butt. I it mean, does. that is is one of those you're using heavy compounds, you're using you know heavy polishes, whatever you're using, and you got a lot of just mm-hmm. stuff and oil on that surface. Panel wipe literally is like I'm talking fresh, yeah, clean. It's slate. gone. Nope. Um, yeah. Over and, and done. But like 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 Eric said though, using a nice towel with it as well though. And so I know a lot of guys um, they've used Eagle 350s with panel wipe. Uh, which is fine. You can use a 365. You can use a lot of cool different different towels, but uh, I'd highly recommend going with probably like a 7030, especially since you're about to lay down your coating. Yeah. I think like a 300 or 365 is like your sweet spot. For yeah. Those. Yeah. Either yeah, either one. Just yeah. so, just something good because um, you know that next step is quite literally your coating. Yeah. So just treat it right, guys. Yeah. Treat Make it, it right. nice. Han says, I'm going to clone me some Andes now that I got his DNA. I don't oh, know if no. the world's ready for more Andy Wars. <clears throat> I can tell you right now that it's, it's not. It's intense <laughs> enough with one. <laughs> yeah. It is real. Give it like a couple years. I don't know. <laughs> I, there's only one man on this earth that can pound Diet Pepsis to my level. <laughs> <laughs> That man is Andy Ward. Ooh. Yeah. But Hans is from the Netherlands. He can crush yes. some Diet Pepsis. No, so, like, Andy- so, like, he can make a. 15 Andes, it's okay. Yeah, no. I Andy, mean, yeah, he could. If they stay in the Netherlands, yeah. they'd be all right. Andy yeah. is caffeine. If, if if caffeine were to ever become and a person cigarettes. and cigarettes, it would be Andy. And because yeah. he is just, you hang around him and you're like, oh, God, I'm really feeling energized right now. I don't you, really know you what's don't going need, on. Yeah. And and he's not like <laughs> pounding Red Bulls, you know. No, he's not drinking like Dane or fine me. Diet Pepsi. It's, I'm just like, imagining Andy speaking with a different accent. That would be very interesting. Ooh. Or wearing, just as intense, but different. Or accent. the wooden shoes. Ooh. Or the wooden, sho- oh, wooden shoes. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, near yeah. a windmill. Because it's just science. Everybody there wears them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, that's how Hans washes all his cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same way. Clip, clop, clip, clop. <laughs> Dallas Williams. Uh, how do I keep dirt from sticking to my black WRX? Uh, you wash it, Dallas. 
No, okay, okay. You know what? Oh, 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 yeah. We have a, we got some products we have right a, there. We have a, a plug here, uh, a very nonchalant plug. Uh, Didn't see that coming. Not wrong. He is not wrong. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Jordan. So we got Simon Birch here. I love that movie. Oh, uh, it's a beautiful movie. Jack S uh, says, uh, Jack S, XO is super easy. CSL is a bit more tricky, but nothing insane. I don't, nice. I don't think it is that much more tricky, is it? If you're going to get down to the Prep. nitty gritty, you yeah. know, I mean, at EXO, you can't, you, you got to try to mess it up. You really do. Okay. You, yeah. I mean, you have to really try, like spill Diet Pepsi on it the whole time. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> now, that's you just know, good science. CSL, CSL, you have to follow the actual Pops directions. Secure. Mm. The good news is they're in the box, they're on the web, they're yeah. ready to be found, so you won't have a problem. Cool. You got it. Cool. Um, and it says right here, so Simon uh, Simon Birch does say, He's just uh, helping him XO, out. XO, you can do uh, 50 50. Hold on. Jake Lenham says, Is it possible oh, yeah. to have PPF over Expel. Crystal Serum Ultra? Yeah. So that's a tricky one to answer. You can, it's not recommended. So um, you, will, you will have some edges lift, but if you were just say you were taking your car on a rally, for example, and you had that infinite pot of money mm -hmm. and the car already has Ultra on it, throw the PPF on it, do your rally. When it starts to lift, rip it off, and your removal will be a lot nicer. So when we wrap some of our demo cars, we'll coat them with Ultra first because we know three, four, or five months later we're pulling the wrap. Yeah. And it's like the easiest removal ever. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice. Save you a little time. This is going to look so good on the Grom. It is. Well, it's just going to be amazing. <laughs> it is. It's going to be glossy. Yeah. Hot Put glossy. that out there right now. All right. So Simon Birch back to EXO. You can do 50 by 50 centimeters. Uh, Simon says, I haven't used the entire bottle, but it feels like I'm using a lot. Took an applicator pad and flipped the bottle quickly in one spot, then applied onto glass until barely any residue came off. Okay. Are we back on the G1? I, uh, <laughs> CSL, he's talking about applying in 30 centimeters with CSL. Oh, I missed one. Used a first towel to remove, then a secondary towel to remove the remainder. Go way beyond the area you apply to. Great advice. Uh, yeah. It's like a, yeah, two or three towels help you out. Luke Berge, <laughs> y'all are messing with my days of the <laughs> oh, week. Luke. I saw y'all go live and I was so confused. Well, well, Luke, yesterday was the 4th of July, dude. Like, we couldn't go technically go. We should have gone live from the party. And in fairness, I'm going to throw uh, this out there. I have had the event yeah. marked up on our YouTube channel for the last week to give everybody yeah, a heads Luke, up. Yeah, so Luke, so they knew it was coming. It's your own fault. I you even, I even had the thumbnail. Better. I put Q&A yeah, Thursday sometimes. and I scratch out the Thursday and I wrote Friday above it so everybody knows. Oh, Digitally. it's different. I did. Next Digital year, way. you don't have to worry. Next July 4th yes. is on a Friday. So yeah, we'll done. actually be live and you'll be good. You on a Thursday. Yeah, just fine. So, Eric might not be here, though. I don't yeah, know. well, you, you never it. know. We make it Maybe we'll be. Uh, yeah. Mark Krause says, do you guys think you can make a video about panel wipes? No. Yeah. I feel like there is much confusion, but some work, uh, but some some work and some don't. If uh, if IPA is bad for car paint, hmm. so that was like that was like kind of a um, yeah. So I think that's a, a topic worth talking. I, it about. is yeah. a good topic. Uh, there are two things though that I always try to just recommend as like a good rule of thumb. If you're going to put a coating on, use that. Use yeah. that manufacturer's panel wipe. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's. That's it's all. cheap insurance. It's it is so simple. cheap. It Don't is. mix up your own alcohol and water and then put, you know, one of G-Technic's products on. Don't mix up your own alcohol. Don't use one of G-Technic's panel wipes to put someone else's. It mm -hmm. doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. It's like, while it may it's work, why do you want to put yourself up for a chance that it may not right. work when you just, know full well if you just use well, the manufacturer's well, all stuff? Of the design, it will. Yes. All of the testing <laughs> has gone into that wipe and that yeah. coating. Yeah. And yeah. the two of them working together and creating a proper yeah. adhesion on and, your paint and so, surface. And you'll see us um, in less um, professional settings, I guess I should say, right? Like, say, for example, we're polishing a car and we're going to wax it, right? Yeah, you'll see us using paint prep uh, just to just to prep it before a wax. Not that we're really focused on the brand or anything like that, but just because we want to remove have it. any. Yeah, we have it. <laughs> you just we want something to clean with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have it, and we just want to get it done, right? But yep. like when it comes to investing in a coating, especially one that you're doing yourself, well, especially if you're going to do it for somebody else or for somebody else. Yeah, I mean, it's do do it do it do it right and do it how it was planned. And it's and it you're, if you're doing it specifically for somebody else, it's not that much more money. When you're buying the product to buy no, and then, and then the proper add, panel, yeah, and then add that into you know your profit for whatever you know or whatever your whatever, cost, yeah, yeah, your cost and whatever you're doing. But the thing is, is that if anything goes wrong with that coating, right, you have that process of saying, I truthfully did use their wipe right before jumping into the actual coating itself. 
So it's like a process of elimination there. So when you jump on the forums and you're like, hey, guys, so my coding failed. And I don't know where I went wrong. Or they're like, what would you do? And you're like, I used... I Start used, from the beginning, please. Seventy percent IPA, and I diluted it. You know, five to one. Because I found a chart from seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? Did, what did you do? Is that? It was on a forum down with water. Just, uh, yeah. Sorry. What's out there? It's the truth. It works. Well, does it? Okay. Anyways, um, so we can't help you. So Simon Birch <laughs> says, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, we can. We could probably do something like that. Uh, says, oh, propped for uh, pro tip for coding application. When this using, is a good one. When using a new applicator pad, prime it. CSL uses two to three of the uh, tubes. Yeah, so to prime it. Okay. As long as this hasn't been tampered with. Ooh, Ooh. we'll find out. So we actually have these pipettes that are oh, built. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. They're like a lot of pipettes, but they're actually much smaller for the application. So season my nice steak with those. So two, two to three Ooh. will prime the actual pad. That would be a delicious okay. steak. So here's mm. the pad that Simon's speaking about. Okay, gotcha. With a nice little. Oh. silky, and you got the little finger pocket. We yeah. got the gloves that I don't think anybody uses. <laughs> most just... most people have their own. That's one of those things you can you can use your own gloves. Oh. It's okay. But these are good for like taking the oh, garbage yeah. out. And sure. Oh, yeah. You, you have a shop dog. Like, yeah. You, know. you pet them. You're working with people's food. <laughs> yep. This yeah. makes your fingers feel pretty good. Oh, so maybe that's why people like they like going. Uh, they don't like wrapping them up. Yeah. They like they like just putting their fingers in mm. that. Just in this right here. They, they want to actually pocket. feel it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They don't want. They're they don't like, want to. You know, ruin the feeling with like a rubberized. You know, covering. Covering over. Yeah. No, I the understand. Fingertips. I understand. I get it. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, where are we at? Oh, Simon. Oh, also ah, pro tip nope, for coding application. Next one. Too cheesy. We already did that. Yep. Too cheesy. How do I keep dirt from sticking to my black GTI? C two, <laughs> wow. baby. Talk to the I WRX guy. Thanks or wash it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack S., keep, thanks for the tips, the fellas. Garage. And Simon above in the comments. <laughs> Smiley faces. He likes it. Simon uh, <laughs> says, this helps you avoid micromarring from a dry pad. Absolutely. Boom. Nice. Mm, Simon's slaying it right Han now. says, what would be the best product to use on fabric seats to protect them? And can I get a product to be used on soft tops? So Han's mm. phenomenal question. So right in front of us is I want smart fabric. Ooh. V2 AB for Antimicrobial, antibacterial. Nice. There you For go. the inside. We yeah. still have it without the AB properties to use on your soft top or your boats. Reason being, what makes it antimicrobial, if you over apply it on the exterior, it will leave behind a very strange dust that you'll see in the next morning. Mm. Not that it's impossible to remove, but it's a little bit of a, it ruins yeah. your morning. Yeah. So yeah. non-AB for outside, AB for inside. Got okay, it. there we go. Nice. Done. Uh, Dallas Williams, after I wash it, the dirt still sticks like glue. Dallas, we need to teach you how to wash a car. You can watch many Wash Wednesdays at the Rag Company, and Anthony can Got to get that protection up. If you have what? any wash questions, ask him. Ask Anthony. <laughs> what's your, what's Anthony in your water? At the, <laughs> Anthony at the well, com. Nope, uh, that's not me. Luke well, Berge no. says he could down Mountain down Mountain Dews <laughs> more than I can Diet Pepsi Law. Luke, we don't doubt that at all. Code Red guy, or are you more of like a Baja Blast? I think he's a full flavor Mountain Dew. Just, you think he's just full, I think like he full like, sugar? I think he just goes for it. I'm an OG goes, Mountain Dew, man. Do you think he goes for like the actual sugar? Like cane sugar Mountain Dews, probably. Oh, yeah, the, the, the one with like the, the guy in the flannels yeah. like, yeah. on it. Yeah. And the, yeah. yeah, the old, old school, old school. Dude, those get me you jacked. Know. Well, Luke, up. my wife is a big diet Mountain Dew fan. She can she she can crush them pretty good. There's a certain type of person. She's a that sipper though. Dew. I'm a I'm a you know she's a That's sipper. It. It's, it's like a fine fine Kentucky diet bourbon Mountain for Dew, her. Though, it just feels weird. It's like oh, I want the diet extreme. You know, it's just that. No, I want the tempered down. It's the version. flavor, man. Um, it's the it's flavor. One, one of the things I actually really enjoy is one of the only places. Um, <laughs> wow, <laughs> shit everywhere. Let's get this party. Boy, I wish we had coded this first. <laughs> one of the only places. I thought they were for everyone. He's just gonna kill them. <laughs> that you can get uh, Mountain Dew Voltage is actually in Yakima, Washington, um, oh. and the burger stop there. Uh, what was it called the burger place there, Dave? Oh Dan? yeah, that's sure. the miner. I got another one. The miner. Yeah, it's one of the only places you can get Voltage on tap. Um, all right, so back to let's it. go ahead and get back into it. So Simon, Simon says, Diet Coke on XO. Going to try offering that service. New, do not. That is not <laughs> something to do. You want to use Diet Pepsi. We got Chris oh, Weiss so. in here. says, hey, guys, I placed an order today. I was wondering if you guys could sign the banner in my order. Thanks. Chris, did you put that in the notes, perhaps? Yeah, uh, Chris, there's a good chance it's already gone. Yeah, we have uh, to. We ha it has to be in the notes. If we see it in the notes, put it in the will, comments. Yeah, we'll sign that. And that goes for comments, anybody and everybody. If you will... want something done with the order, write it on the order. Write it on the comments, and we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. I've seen so. it. They're that fast. Yeah. Uh, Simon says, uh, Jack S. I've been there 
where I had to redo panels due to dry pad, and it sucks. Mm. Yeah. Simon says, Levi, that was G1 I was referring to. Oh. I don't know. G1. Okay. Yeah, so it goes back to the glass products. So ah, okay. Got it. Luke Berge, wait, <laughs> was the party at Dane's? Yes. Mm-hmm. No. Yes, it, it was. It was at his childhood home. Well, yeah. the childhood yeah. home of Dane well, Hennon. This is Did you take home photos home. of the photo? Uh, this no, is where the, the Arbor Day Ar- party. Arbor Day party was the started. The start. <laughs> this is where this is the party <laughs> mecca for a young Dane Hennon to host grandiose events. Tons galas. Yeah, galas. 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 Balls. Um, um, a high school gala. Would you? Pr- would you say was your birthday? High your birthday? Your birthday sort? party was a was a high school gala. I was a lean one hundred sixty two pounds at the time. Attended <laughs> by more people than prom. What I would have liked to have it's seen is that basketball court that they have, because they do have an activity court, yeah. turned into a, a, ball, a ballroom, essentially oh, like a dance it, Well, floor. it will. When yeah, Dane, like when Dane gets married. Yeah, the but, whole well, arrangement. Oh, you bring the fake wood yeah. floor. So I, mm. funny oh, thing totally. was, Tiki I was, torches around it. I was actually talking to Liz well, I, yesterday yeah. on the 4th <laughs> and talking about the wedding and yeah. talking about <laughs> the backyard of Dane's parents' house yeah. and how open uh, Jeff and Carolyn were to the idea. Oh, and how yeah. much they loved the idea of Dane getting married back there. In well, that's nice because it takes that a lot yard. of pressure off of Liz now to figure out a, a venue Whew, where correct. they're going to be getting Got married. Got that settled. Well, Liz was like, Callie, you're planning this. I'm like, Liz, that's uh. a dog. <laughs> 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 it's going to be great. I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> there's a truth about it. <laughs> I so hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow, you're so kind. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess it's just one of the fun... It's, uh, I mean... This is live Q&A, man. I'm this feeling, is how it I'm goes. Feeling, how it I'm goes. You, you get the energy oh, now. It's, you know, <laughs> it's all over the place. We're planning weddings with dogs? It's, yeah, perfectly fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's what we do. All right. Tim Armstrong. <laughs> After washing my 2013 STI, I always have what looks like an oily, greasy film on the paint under mm. the door handles and rocker panels. I like where Tim's head's at with I this. I feel like it might be the rust proofing. How do I remedy this? Well, Tim, what that actually is, is duck fat from <laughs> eating so many french fries. No. Uh, probably want to wash your hands before you touch your door handles again. Mm. Um, that's probably a big one. But no, it could be. Uh, not rust proofing, but probably a lot of the they, they squirt in some weird... Like Jetta's used to do this really yeah. bad, mm. uh, where it would seep out on the bottom of the doors and stuff. So it might just be some lubricants like that. Um, Beats being a '70s Datsun and falling apart underneath everything. Well, okay. I, I'm, think, I'm thinking, I'm <laughs> thinking, it could literally just be the lubricants that they put into the door handles, like from the factory, to make them last through the rest of their yeah. lifetime. Yeah, that's the goal. They need to be able to open close and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Luke says, "Lol, I, I think Dane, but I've spent three full days." detailing a bus my mind is he there. actually was he messaged me okay, about that nice. yeah hans says what happens at dane's party stays at dane's oh, party no. luke rule number one don't talk about the party <laughs> to the dog like you're doing yeah. right now <laughs> luke Berge, dane i talked to my buddy my <clears throat> sticker for the windshield is being made should be going on next week i forget what sticker this is he All said right. he wanted to make a sticker now i don't remember what it is well, now think I'm i think it's uh, <laughs> it's rag, for a bus i think it's mm. rag company luke oh uh and then uh where are we at here? Hans, uh, show that pad closer, Anthony. Looks interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy. And oh, then Luke go. says, 4th of July swingers party at Dane's. Whoa. I'd really I'd rather not, of... but hey, teach right. their own. Dan Pfeiffer says, there's dirt sticking to my Toyota Highlander. Is there a product to help prevent this? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> This is just uh, this is just how it is Luke, now. Luke Berge <laughs> wants us all to know that he chugged three liters of normal... Mm. High test Mountain Dew today, but Mountain Dew throwback is definitely better. And come on, Anthony, you saw me. I definitely go for the regular Mountain. I'm larger than the average African elephant. Oh, oh. I, would, I, I don't know about that. There, not that I've big. seen African elephants, and they are. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know where you're going with that. Oh, large. No. They're they're large. They're bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are bigger uh, than you. Yeah, but uh, um, but yeah, no. So yeah, regular Mountain Dew. Always a treat. Yeah. Um, always gets me jacked up. Um, on Mountain Dew. On Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Tim, we are, I think, at the bottom. We're at the bottom. Now Jordan has just ridden in. Jordan just popped Jordan's in Jordan's having issues here. Jordan <laughs> says he's traveling in Germany and having the worst withdrawals of washing my two cars. Going on three weeks. Send help. Ha, ha. Jordan, what you need to do is uh, Google your nearest detail shop and see mm. if you can just go over there and help them wash cars. Yeah, you're like, hey, you need, you, it. Uh, or, uh, need a hand? Maybe make a sign in uh, German. And say that you'll wash cars uh, at the local 
Jet wash. There das, you go. Das car wash. All right, thanks. And on that note, I believe we should talk about what Eric's doing upcoming, here and what we're doing this weekend. wedding nuptials. And maybe not that. Maybe oh. not a dog-planned wedding. I'm, That's I'm for still later, on the but... Citronella torch with the wood floor <laughs> well, over the basketball court. It'd be beautiful. Court. It'd it's be beautiful. very thoughtfully I decorated. I think it'd be beautiful. Uh, you could also uh, have the hot tub going oh, yes. um, as a seat of honor for people to uh, <laughs> hang out in oh, during the ceremony. Love that. And the Just... bridal party can slide in on a slip and slide. Oh, Yes, so there's yes. room. Oh, there's absolutely there's tons of room, room for that. Yeah, there's. We, we gotta, probably want to get stretch. you guys married over the pond, though. Hmm. Yeah. Something yeah. to ponder. Eric, you'll get to see all this on Saturday night. Yeah. So all right. You'll be able to. We'll be able to plan it from there. Perhaps we'll uh, take some oh, pictures. Oh, there's the sticker. Post them on that's the live. That's the sticker, that. Luke. Ah. Oh, that's a great one. So, uh, no. So again, uh, we got the Rap Institute live going in on Saturday tomorrow oh. here at the Rag Company, and. Eric is here, and Andrew will be here tomorrow. Andrew's coming in hot tomorrow morning. And uh, they are going to be putting, uh, we're going to be putting Halo on top of the wrap of the Suburban, yeah. as well as another vehicle uh, that Those we did last, last year. year. Actually, so, by the way, you can check out that live stream. Yeah, you can actually go here. on the YouTube channel and watch the live stream. It's like eight hours. Of I would, uh, rap. It I is would, very I would say, long. I would say we're all a little nervous to apply this to the, uh, to the uh, uh, Suburban, but... After seeing how easy it was over at the um, Serum Summit, Serum Summit, yeah. I was actually I was literally like just no watching them like apply, wipe it off, and I was like, "You're convinced?" It. I'm like, now. "That's it." Yeah, and they're like, "That's it." You're like, a money maker, is what that is. You can do it. I'm you like, can that's do nuts. It. That's a money maker for detailers and rappers alike. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. gonna be sweet. Or detailers <laughs> who detail for rappers. That's true. Ooh. Like speaking of Steve, showcase reconditioning. How are you, bud? Steve. It's already gone. I'm done. It's Eric drinking coffee. All right. Man, Luke Berkey, Dane the sticker, hashtag I want an eagle blanket. <laughs> RAF, can you use G-Technic smart fabric on light colored sofas? Almost white. And if so, how often would it have to be reapplied? If not, do you guys have a better recommendation? That is what we would recommend. And it's all going to be based on wear. So you're only going to see a decrease in performance where your heavy wear areas are. So where you're sliding on and off the sofa, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Careful, of course. But if you're not using it that much, like most white sofas, you know, or money green mm, sofas. Yeah, well, that's yeah. how I like my um, things. Money green, you know, or white. It, if you're not, you, if you're not green. on it a lot, it's going to be there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, green and gold are my colors. It's the color of money. Mm. I don't know if gold is necessarily the color of money. Not anymore. Anymore. And I'm pretty sure the money well, green well, sofa well, was the leather. This is the Isle of Tortuga, ah. which you could use leather guard yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Guile says uh, Dane is going to ride a tandem bike down the aisle <laughs> with his best man G Davis. Oh, <laughs> what a which, joy that would be! G? Yeah, where is G today? Well, it's because it's not Thursday. It's not He's Thursday. Thrown off as well. He only does Q and A gonna be Thursdays. Furious. So. Should we call him? Absolutely furious. Say, hey, where are you? Should Get on him. the live right now. He's like, I am sitting on vacation, guys. What are you talking about? I'm in the Bahamas. Yeah. Well, Luke Berge says, should I book my last minute flight to Boise for the wrap? Do it, Luke. Luke, Come you're more out. than welcome to, yeah. brother. That's, you know that's you about can. as last minute as it like, gets. Yeah. Yeah. Luke, that would be a very expensive flight. You may not make it in time. The wrap yeah. may be done by the time you show up. Mm. Well, no, so. if he got in at, like, let's just say, like, 9 a.m. Mountain Time tomorrow, that means he would leave. He would have to leave at, like, what, so overnight tonight. He's got to get that thing booked tonight. Yeah. He's flying red right eye. Well, yeah. but how's he going to – he's going to get here, but he won't have his car. True. Yeah. Uh, he can Uber. It's but there's right. two Miatos. Yeah, wow. you can loan him a Miata yeah, to drive. Yeah, Dane, you have him. You have three cars to loan him. Yeah. But I was thinking, doesn't he want to get something wrapped? No. He oh. Wants to see he just he wants, wants to be, to be here, here for, for the wrap. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's okay. Just, yeah, he wants nice support. Him. Oh, I appreciate uh, that. That's what the live stream will be there for. You don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. You can go. Um, yeah. Uh, watch it on yeah. your phone. Uh, Luke says, "What color should my sticker be?" Mountain Dew um, green? Question mark. Han <laughs> says, "Where's Beta Attic though?" Everybody's missing because they're used missing. to Q and A Thursdays. We really threw them. Yeah, you guys yeah. really tossed it out. We have. Yeah. Uh, I would. Some people describe it as maybe a family. Is, is what we have on a little here. bit of a, a live a, Q and A, a group, family at this point. A group point. of similar people. Would you say a click? Sort of a collective of people. Collective. Yeah, a little clickish well, maybe. Some of our, some I think they're friendly though. It's not like a. a there's no animus there. Some have different figures. You know what I mean? Like like, like some are like more of like a play of like the uh, the father figure like. G. Davis plays more of the father figure role to Dane, and he, you know, says things that a, fa a proud father would say. Mostly, mostly <laughs> things like, "Oh, what's going to make this guy uncomfortable? Let's do that." Yeah, and son, <laughs> I want to throw a baseball with you at the park. So thoughtful. like the cocky uncle. Mm. 
but he's got elements, you know. He he is that uncle character. Yeah. yeah. Bait addict is the cool cousin yep. that uh that sneaks you beer at the uh the family parties. He tried to change his name because he's an Audi fan, but we just kept calling him Bait Addict because he was B8 addict on the whole thing. Yeah. Just can't get around okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so and Luke is the uh he's the younger person at the family parties that uh, you would find playing with like the Tonka trucks. And he'd be like, what are you doing over there, Luke? And he's just like, just playing with trucks and doing truck things. <laughs> and I'm like, you're cool. Keep it up, dude. And that's and that's where he is. But uh, as a person now. Um, well, now that you've had a chance to meet the trucks. guy. And... Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Getting into this, though. Um, so Jackass says, uh, is G-Technic going to be releasing any new products this year uh, at SEMA? Perhaps any teasers? Ooh. Well, uh, that's what SEMA's for. Can't talk oh, about it. Mm, Eric. Cold. <laughs> Eric, not playing any cards mm. in this live episode. Um, yeah. Uh, Luke Berge says, Anthony, I want the Civic. Yeah, you don't want the Civic, Luke. Trust me. <laughs> I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He'll find out if it's worth, uh, if it's worth the, the hype. Um, all right, so Simon Birch says, Eric, do you know if G-Technic uh, will reintroduce uh, Gar- Gardo? What's that say? Yeah, so, uh, you know, little, little fun fact here that um, – our last marketing girl is with us for a long time. She worked with, uh, however you say, Haribo, to make us some G-Technic gummy bears. Ooh. Oh, and Haribo. She, she mm. had quite the stack of them. I mean, like, yeah. in the thousands, and they sold out, like, that day. So That's awesome. Um, I'll put that in, Simon. I'm pretty sure they're coming back. I've never seen one. So, <laughs> so they sold out before they made it to the U.S. Eric- so you guys worked with Haribo. Yeah, it, it must be like a UK thing. I'm not sure. I'm a big fan of gummies. I would oh, consider yeah. myself to be a gummy connoisseur of, of such. I Nothing upsets my stomach faster on a trip. Love it. No, and that's the first thing I go <laughs> for, right? Like, I don't actually get on a flight without having gummy bears. And so I am genuinely interested to try these garib- Garibos. The Garibos. Well, we're going to have to get you some. Well, do you know what flavor they are at least? I can't. I can't. The color. flavor is red. I love that's my favorite flavor. I next mean, to blue. Just, I would, I would hope, red. I would hope it's what you want G Wash to taste like, but you're oh. just not going to try it. That's mm. not true. I had a swig earlier. It was everything <laughs> I wanted it to be. <laughs> All right, let's. Keep Did it, it going. take one or like 100 brain cells? Just wondering. Shh. No words. <laughs> um, all right, so Han Closen says, talking about wraps, I need to call the PPF guy tomorrow for putting PPF on the machines. Good move. Mm. Yes. And then Halo on the top. Ooh. Yeah. Do it. Uh, Luke Briggs says, Hans, get OptiGuard put on. Oh, oh Luke, I beat you Luke, to it, Luke. 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 I beat you. Luke, I beat you. Are, you. Um, this is not an Optimum sponsored uh, live <laughs> right now. So, sorry, bud. Uh, Simon Birch says, I got one bag, one from G Technic Denmark. Wow. Oh. Told you. Wow. wow. Somebody enjoys that. Well, those. Dane. What is your thing against gummies? Just oh, I love gummies. Do don't you? get me wrong, yeah. I love gummies. The problem is they don't love me. Welcome back. to Gummy Land. Oh, is it? The, is it the it's stomach, an unrequited love. gummy talk. Is it yeah. stomach issues that that? It's it's one of those things you just like. Oh, I love gummies, and well, then you, you have a few, and Eric, you're like, wow, I regret this. Did you let Eric know what happened after we left the Serum Summit to your body? What? Oh, yeah. What did happen? Hear about that? No. uh, Let's get into it. Went went for that (laughs) ride, you know, that super sweet ride in the uh, radical. Came home the night after I got back. Woke up in the middle of the night to let my dog out, and that's when I had this horrible shooting pain Mm -hmm. in you know gut region. Sure. And uh, went through a whole lot of tests for weeks trying to figure out what was going on, and found out that no, uh, no, no. What type of tests? They went in one way. Then they went in another way. Oh, CT but scan, they couldn't, colonoscopy. They couldn't reach. Yeah, hmm. the other way. Like, all they, they went in this online. way, and they, they weren't. They tried to meet. They tried <laughs> no, to meet in the like, middle, well, and they couldn't. Based on our scans, we've now found that going up, we can't go far enough. Going down, we can't go far enough. This is great for the live audience. Thank yeah, you very people much. People pay good listening. money to see so that. We have visuals uh, so, here. <laughs> so we started taking bets. One, that it was a beaver dam created by <laughs> Slim Jims. Yeah. Oh. Some form of blockage, no. like a beaver dam of Slim Jims. And it's not overly complicated. I'm talking just sticks of Slim Jims stacked. Just two of them. Okay. Somewhat like Not that. like the weird little sticks that are in there that the mm. body's not processing and making <clears> a dam? No. No. no just, whole, just, whole sticks, just whole sticks. Whole sticks. Long story swallowed. short, there was banding around the intestine, like just part of your body, and it wrapped around it and was pinching it and constricting yeah. it. Because what else did you do at Mobile Tech? Not two weeks earlier. Uh, we went on a uh, we went on an adventure 
So you flipped your intestine in a radical RXC spider. I'm not saying that's what did it, but I'm not saying. Well, well we went on the GM. Not, I'm not, not we, went on the, we went on the GM <laughs> test track. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, at, over at uh, at, uh, at Epcot. That that was intense and all, but nothing compares well, it's, to no, riding that but radical. That we're was just amazing. saying you experienced a high level of G forces that your body had not experienced before in the Miata. Two in weeks the, in a row. Yeah. Oh, the Miata or the that. C-Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or the C-Max. Prius. But then... <laughs> but C-Max then velocity. You, but then you flew, on an air, you flew on multiple planes, mm. and then not less than eight days later, you experienced another high level amount of G-forces, which caused your parts of your body to wrap themselves around the intestines for dear life. According to the doctor, it was something that was happening so slowly over the course of many years that they think just those last few things maybe exacerbated it, just but shook it, it had up. been happening over the long period of time. I just like so. to think of it like you're an astronaut. Yeah, the way I look and at it, I was like, <laughs> well, that uh, that did that. Yep. Yeah. So. so they cut him open, pushed the stuff around, and said, all right, buddy, zipped you back up, and you were good to go. And I haven't felt weird since, so That's it's been good. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Dane does have a cool battle scars to show for I, it. I yep. have three holes in And people say, uh, were you shot? Beyond- and he yeah, was I'm like, not even. Like, oh. no, kind of. I was kind of shot. Yeah. Uh, mm. All right. Where are we here? Simon. Now that we've grossed everybody now, out uh, and they left. We got Simon and Luke still. Now we just need tons of just them for customers. Simon says, we got them at the accredited detailers course. And I keep asking uh, Hel- Helgi. 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 Every time I talk with him. Nice. Yep. <laughs> We're going to have to get on this. Luke cool. Berge, my neighbors asked why I have so much bead maker on my shelves and if I had an addiction. There's now empty houses on my street. I hose them down with bead maker. Luke, that um, is the uh, that is a concerning. Are you <laughs> killing uh, people? Are you, a, your bead maker? Are you, are people dying? We, that is, this is we want to know a bud. safe place to <laughs> just, admit. It's a family worried. show. Yeah. Kind of worried about you. This is a family show. Uh, uh, perhaps at least he's not drinking it. The perhaps. good news was though, he probably had some tropical fisherman's friends in his mouth while he was yeah. spraying those houses with bead maker. Uh, yeah. Out of context, that's still a well difficult sentence. Perhaps to he wouldn't need so many gallons if unpack. he had this. Oh, oh, oh. Look at wow. that. Look, Look at that. that. I mean, no. it's true. It's true. But no, I'm stuck. Was there a, f- a Fisherman's Friends post Levi years ago? Um, What? He's, well, I'm a big fan of Fisherman's Friends. He's a big fan Friends. of Fisherman's there Friends. There has to be a post because I, I subliminally caught this. This was probably two years ago. Okay. And I did not have the tropical ones. But I was walking mm. through and I was like, that's what the internet was talking about. And it had to be you. I had the yep. brown ones. Oh, yeah. Yep. And they were not good. They no, are not. They, they are, are they were They're what I call horrendous. They're what I call master level lozenges. Oh, they're horrible. You have to be. Uh, right? Thank you. you. Have to, uh, Thank you. They were yeah. so bad. The you other have to be able to handle it. Good, but. That one. There is a package. We all joke. There's it's just called pack of lemons on it. <laughs> well, that's I, not it, but there's okay, one that's a, yeah, a noose, Just a couple lemon yikes. flavored left, but the, it it is the, the actual packaging itself. When you we have see some cherries, <laughs> there is anus cherries. Okay, we yeah, no, we have <laughs> no the joke. Anus flavored ones. Yeah, you yeah. do not want that. And the yeah. anus seed flavors. So, oh, oh, uh, for some seeds. reason the anus does and, uh, taste better good. than the this is Ivan Lacroix's favorite. The salmi. Oh, those are so salty and fish. No, um, not very, uh, quite. It could be thought of that as fish, perhaps a tuna. It's these not, are one of the few I actually. It's like. not uh, in. It's no, not it's more in salt. The English. It's more salt water. It is in the uh, not in the English. Yeah, this is like so, mint ice cream. Uh, that's a good one. The mint yeah. one. These nice. are these are symbols, not letters. Yeah, if right. you would like cherries to delicious. One. If you'd like um, to try any of these flavors, they are open for you to try. The, an, the he just anise, had coffee. It was so. bad. Anise is actually pretty good, um, but the tropical flavor. <laughs> Taste what we assume, not yes. this cherry, but the tropical flavored fisherman's friend, uh, is what we assume bead maker would taste like. It tasted the way it smelled. Tasted yeah. the way okay. it smelled. Yeah. It's rather it's delicious. Given that. Yeah. But, fisherman's friends, uh, I like it to say to that you. cherry is a good starter um, to get you kind of in. Or it's maybe the, the mint. It's a gateway yeah. one. Cherry's the gateway. Uh, so and then you work your way up to original flavor. Yeah. So Which then, is where I dove right in and I almost puked, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, no, it's kind of like went, it's kind of like chugging hard. whiskey. Like you just don't do it. You just don't do that. You got to work your way. In. You got to be an alcoholic for a long like time. It's like your first experience with chewing tobacco. You're right. like, I don't <laughs> you know don't how this is it. gonna go, right? And then you put it in your mouth and you swallow it, and you're <laughs> so like, the whole I'm thing, throw right? Up. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta. It's for seasoned vets. Instant regret. Correct. Yes. Seasoned fishermen. Fishermen. Yeah. So, I mean, subliminal internet marketing, even through random posts, it's, it, does, it does work. I am. It it's well, not like they so, or here's we why. get anything from them out of it. We just have so a lot. here's what I got on for it. 
was because I am always, I'm an ex smoker. So I used to smoke three packs of menthols a day. That was what I used to do. Uh, so ever since I quit smoking almost 10 years ago, I've always had excess phlegm. Now, it might be all the Diet Pepsi I drink, but we both know that's <laughs> not the case. <laughs> uh, Why would that be the case? No. no. Um, but Fisherman's Friends were the only lozenge that I could actually tolerate that Cleared would kill all that, yeah. that would mimic the feel of a menthol cigarette. Because it was killing everything. Because it would kill everything. Yeah. Yeah. It just These knocks it all out. Go beyond what and Altoids then, could do. Then, when I became a... So I would do that detailing. I would you know, have one of those in my mouth and just kind of chill it out and i didn't i wasn't a hardcore user of fisherman friends until i got here and then when i travel and i speak so let's say mobile tech doing a couple talks or working a booth or sema where you're talking to everybody it taxes and destroys your throat you know how it goes sugar yeah. is not good no so mm -hmm. most of your lozenges are made of sugar so they're yeah. not really all that helpful for you these are not and this would save my voice for the next day Especially when we're at SEMA for ten days, it's a long. Burn. SEMA guaranteed loss. So fishermen, and then year. we start doing this, and we're talking twice a week with the podcast and that. This is what saves my voice. This is why we use them. Yeah. And this is what uh, tastes like a spoonful of. Yeah. Baking uh, soda. Tim, you're wrong. Tim came on to say <laughs> that any lozenge would do that. Yeah. You're wrong. It has to be a fisherman's friend. So yeah. moral of the story is, <laughs> oh, zinc lozenge. Oh, yeah, okay. It zinc is still lozenge. weird hearing him. Yeah. Because the first yeah. time he piped up, I was like, where's this guy? <laughs> moral moral of the him, story we is hear him. start your morning off with a fisherman's friend in your mouth. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's the best way to start it. Start yep. the day. Uh. So... <laughs> That's how Anthony We're school started children. it now. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So here we go. Um, <coughs> Back in it. Uh, let's see. So Simon Bur uh, Simon Birch says, uh, considering that Ultra has the ability to withstand temperature ranges up to 250 degrees Celsius Truth. and very fast changing too. Right. Is that what it says? Fast changing. Um, would this also mean that it could work just fine on wheels? Ooh, mm. That is a good question. Great question. People have had wonderful success with that. That's there you go. always nice to hear. Um, perhaps even better than CS. Um, currently running C5, CSL, C5. Uh, C5. Currently mm. running CSL and XO on my own wheels as a test. So nice. Simon, you're just going to find the the chemistry difference, right? So so C5 being an older quartz based product, it's going to do certain things that the composite of Crystal Serum Ultra or Crystal Serum Light will not do. So best is going to be up to you and what you're seeing and what you like to see. Okay. Nice. Noted. Oh, uh, Steve, what'd you say, man? Here we go. Uh, so Rocco's so Modern Life, not to be confused with Aaron's Random Life, says uh, bead maker should work on internals much like pep, pep, blah, pep Pepto Bismol. Pepto -bismol oh, oh, those kinds theory. of internals. Mm. Yeah, we had well, that talk. Yes. I would like <laughs> to see uh, coats everything. Dane could drink it. I would be willing to... Uh, Dane's already digging into the mints. Nope. I like the mint one. The mint one is one of the few I actually says like. It tastes like but mint what ice does, cream. What does this say? I have no clue. <laughs> it's, it's the not, best part. It's not worth it, Derek. <laughs> it's like mint ice cream. S Steve's this back. Had a name. twisted inside. Also, it's not fun. Twisted transistor. Never a good time. You're exactly what you're um, talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he had the same thing as you. Well, yeah. Probably also rode in a radical. Not a joy. It was a radical experience. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, Steve I has mean, been to Atlanta Motorsports <clears throat> Park well, in then, Dawsonville, Georgia. All right. Well, you, then uh, he needs to subject so, himself so, to the same. So speaking of the Atlanta Motorsports Park, do you guys go out to there often uh, outside of the main show that we went to? The we do. Summit? Yeah, yeah. So Serum Summit plug uh, every February, Dawsonville, Georgia, Atlanta yeah. Motorsports Park, the weekend between the Super Bowl and Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strategic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, for the guys with a little bit of the girls. Oh, nice. So good Very to go. Nice. Um, but yeah, we do our accreditation training. It's every month. It's usually the third oh, wow. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Um, unless we do something special, like if we just went to Rubez in Colorado last month. Yeah. We're looking to do a couple off-sites per year just so people don't have to cross the country if they don't want to. Open up some cooler places, let them see some other things. Yeah. yeah. But for the most part, we're there, you know, I would say four to five times a month, give or wow. take. It's my second home. Yeah. I like that. We yeah, we loved fun. it. It was, it was yeah. so it was, much fun. It was such a fun event. Had such cool vibes, and it was like one of those things where just I think just being there, being around cars, and being around the people, and just being next to a racetrack. There's something, yeah. something about that. I think that. we're gonna it's have to take Morgan next year. You can go year. see what we did. That was fun. Yeah. I think we're gonna have yeah. to take Morgan next year. 
Yeah. So she oh, she would the, she would die. So she can check it out. That. That's really it was cool. um yeah, it was just a lot of fun. And throw her in a radical. And everybody yeah. <laughs> and I think and, and everybody was in just such a good mood. Yeah, like, it know, was you, fun. You, it was just you didn't fun. run into one person having a no. bad time there and I don't think you can. Yeah. I think it was isolated enough that the only people who were there were the people who really wanted to be yeah, there and they really sure. enjoyed it. My sure. biggest regret of the whole trip was um there was a day where they were doing some training stuff going over the plan. Uh, and you guys had chicken wings delivered. Oh. Mm. I only had one plate of them, and I wanted far <laughs> more than that. True. And we probably threw out like 40 plates. Oh. Of them. No, and it was like, so sitting here looking at these vats of chicken wings, and I'm like, how can I? Oh, my God. God, hey. look who Speaking showed of up! Chicken wings. Speaking of chicken wings, <laughs> live. come on in here, guys. live! Look, live. Adam Hello. Thurman made it. Adam the Thurminator. Thurman. No wonder he's not in the comments. Yeah. He's right here. Yeah. He just hey, came right to hang out. Off. <laughs> well, here, man. Let's grab him a chair. Welcome. Yeah, guy. Uh, what up, up uh, everybody? Pull up, uh, let's a, chair pull up a seat this. somewhere. I'm just gonna make and him stand the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> we can this readjust it. Yeah. You know, um, you never think to yourself that you're gonna have a fan come through the screen and end up here. Um, until it actually happens. It just happened. Yeah. You know, that this is this is a thing. This is going on right now. But uh, um, kind of going back to the chicken wings thing, disappointed? Yes. Prepared for next year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So the good so, news is um, that is Big D's Barbecue, Dawsonville, Georgia, shameless plug okay. number four. Yeah, yeah. So oh, if for some man, reason yeah. we are not there, just remember Big D. Okay. No, I'll remember that just fine. I think a lot of people remember the big D. So he, he won't um, forget it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no problems with it. No problems there. So Adam made it all the way up from Salt Lake. Wow. Ogden. Yeah, well, Ogden. Okay. Outside north of Salt Lake. Yep. So and and, and yeah, Guess you how walked. He, he walked. Uh, close. Miata. Miata. <laughs> close. No. Grom. Honda Grom. Close. Honda Grom. Harley. Holy Five smokes. Five hours in three, two, one. Nice. Wow. Boom. Boom. Did wow. It. So that's pretty wild because I've done the ride um, kind of over to Twin Falls area. Not fun. Pretty straight. Pretty boring. Yeah. I can't even imagine doing that ride from Salt Lake because that is just straight. Yep. It's a good ride. That I always, is straight. I would dream. Sometimes did, I dream. Of, I was telling him that. Yeah. I was like, I used to have a dream before you, I had children <laughs> that I'd go down to Timpanogos Harley and pick up a bike, buy a bike from them, yeah. and then ride it back to Boise. That could still be a thing. That would be a good, that's what I told him. Yeah. Life's too short. He right? said, stop Fine. drinking Diet Pepsis and get yourself a motorcycle. <laughs> and I was like, <sighs> there's something free, you know, wrong. about about wearing assless chaps and riding down the road. There is, that is true. Just feeling the wind between your cheeks. <laughs> but I got I to gotta give a shout out to my sweet wife because she is home with a testy two-year-old. Yeah. And, and a newborn. And, and she's letting you go play. Old, and she's letting me come play, bless her heart. So, wow. baby, thank you. I'm safe. Shout out. I made it. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah. yeah. So, all is well. And I see Ed She is a princess. He made me laugh uh, this morning. I got a comment from him and... Good folk nice. right there. But yeah, Sydney's waiting for me at some point. I'm heading up to her place after this. No, it's just so. on the other side of the hill over here. Yeah. So, so and that is fun. actually a fun ride. That is a pretty ride. That is a fun ride. Like you'll that. actually like, you'll be that like ride. You'll get to her place and you'll be like, uh, hold on. You're going to ride back down to here. Yeah. Then turn around and then ride back up again. You'll be like, okay, I just had to do it. Well, he can go nice. two, so he can go two different ways. He can actually head down through hill over here and have, yeah. a, have a fun ride. It's, it's, it goes past the, um, the, the dump. But it's yeah. not, you can't, not that you'd know Siemens it Gulch is what um, it's called. It is a Siemens Gulch. And so <laughs> it's literally what our dump <laughs> is named. Yeah. Our, our, oh, our dump, man, our, dump our, town, our town dump is called Siemens Gulch. Are we going there on Sunday? We can um, if you like. Okay. I need a photo. So right you can. So <laughs> right over there on the hill. So in Miata. going that way yeah. is we'll great. Take Dan's Miata. But a more beautiful ride and a little bit yeah. more fulfilling ride would actually be if you went the back way towards Bogus Basin and did the back way through there. That's a long so ride, though. Bogus Basin. I've heard that's a good ride. Oh, man. It's Dane's Adam. Sundays. One of my. It's Dane's church on Sundays. One of, one, of, one of the best. You know, I got my motorcycle out there. We can go for a ride here in a little bit. You know what's funny is I just saw some dude on a Grom in a parking lot trying to pop a wheelie out here. I was oh like, my oh, is that gosh. Anthony? No, because <laughs> oh. I can pop wheelies. Yeah. So that, so I don't well, try. the Triumph, I don't know if you knew this, Eric, but it's Triumph down here. That's the only way that bike rolls. Anthony has to pop a wheelie when he starts. Like, it's just too powerful. So you mean the one that's in the studio on the side? Yeah. 
that mm. one. Yeah, it's tipped over on its That's side. Upside down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was changing the chain. He was changing the tire, yeah. like a bike. Yeah. Yeah. I was wiping out the headlight and just flipped over. I'm like, crap, yeah. oh. <laughs> not again. I can't pick this up. It's just how uh, that bike guys, goes. Guys, we have so many questions. All, All right. right, so uh, getting back. To, uh, I know exactly we're where we're at. So, showcase uh, reconditioning message retracted. From no, there. yeah. So, so. Um, let's see. So Simon Birch says, if I'm not mistaken, I heard G Technic uh, were working on a bare metal coating like polished wheels. So we'll not deny that. Um, the mothership is working on a good amount of stuff like that. I will say, from past experiences of my of my own, it is a very difficult substrate to protect mm-hmm. over a long period of time. Short periods. And we're talking a year or so, um, a little bit easier. But to, to truly do something that's going to be three to five ye- years, or more. Yeah. It, it's going to take some work. Yeah. So. Well, uh, here we go. We're going down a little further here. We got Wrecked Panhandle says, I received my package tomorrow. Can't wait to see the limited edition Cyclone Mitt. Nice, Let, nice. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. So it's loud. If you guys didn't know. It is limited edition. That we had a limited edition Cyclone Mitt on the website. It, go to the ragcompany.com. Right now, and you can get you can a few on the ways. banner. You can get it in a kit, or if your if your order is over eighty bucks, right? You get one um, for free. You get one for free. And the best way to describe it is that it, like Dane said, it's loud. You know, it's one of those it's things. Red and white where with a blue cuff and our logo. You on it. can't help That's but look Merca. at it, and Merca. it's just super. And when you get bright. it, and this is the fun part, it's color changing. <laughs> so when you get it wet, the blue turns to navy blue. So it's like a royal blue, On but once purpose? it gets wet, it, uh, once it's wet, yes. yes, by design, by design. By so design. like the old icy gloves <laughs> that were white, and you got them cold, and there's not, little not guys that fancy, kind of kind of like that, but not really. Mostly Can just we do one like that. It's blue that gets it's wet. It's kind of like when you darker. get white, like fabric glove, and you just go and it turns into a. It's kind of like when you're wearing a white shirt and it gets wet, and you're like, it's a wet t-shirt contest, and you can see right through me. Something like that, yeah. That's <laughs> not I hope like not. that. Okay, all right. Not it gets darker. It doesn't get. More see through. Luke Bergie says, Dane, when is this year's DD video coming out? Dane's working great. on it right now. We'll, we'll probably see it in December. So great the- question, Luke. <laughs> I am the slowest editor here, and yet I've been editing here since the beginning. So while people like my videos, it does require a degree of some patience. Say the problem the is, editor. I have some other things that <laughs> I do around company. here as well, which pull me away from it so. frequently. And uh, that's part of the reason it's slow. So I apologize for the slowness, but it will be happening. I'm about. Eh, a third to halfway through it right now. So in between other things, it's getting worked on. So oh. if you want fast videos, Tim cranks them out really well. We'll just say this: Tim's. I gotta give kudos Tim's, to that guy. Tim's much faster than much, Dane. Much, at least That's seven times feet, uh, on foot. On foot. <laughs> on foot. <laughs> yeah. On uh, by air, uh, by air, by land, by, by land. sea. Uh, by editing, he is much faster, and that is because Tim's built for speed. Dane's built for comfort. That is true. <laughs> Tim is Tim is slender, and he is. You can he's, tell he's very. Can at least get a comfort fist bump. Here, here he's, 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 right. he's, he's he's wiry. He is. Well, he played baseball. Yeah, and, right. and, you know, he was uh, a Tim, sportsman. Uh, Tim, what, what position did he play? I think he was pitcher. Tim's Tim's silence on the other end. I so I would assume there. that he was pitcher, or I would assume that he was perhaps maybe shortstop. He was like pitcher. Shortstop. He's, he's he's a pitcher. Baseball. I'm friends with him on Facebook. Pitcher. Oh, well, I am too, but he I, I, I didn't throws go through all balls this. very hard. Noted. He was very Noted. hard at throwing. What and, is uh, editing? So, in the question of throwing uh, things, why don't we throw it over to the next question? Edmund Iverson. Uh, Adam, Adam uh, Thurman in the house, guys. Uh, thanks for offering the five-gallon bucket in your sale. It's my version of the Eagle Blanket. Heck so, uh, yeah, Luke, uh, Ed's totally cool with the five-gallon bucket. I so. made a point to Ed when he said, oh, my gosh, you guys have a bucket. Together. And I said, yeah, it's kind of a test. It's the first time we've ever put a bucket on our website for sale buckets that people are hard can buy. To ship. Buckets yeah. are next to impossible to ship unless you have some product in them. Not that they're so hard to ship, air. physically hard to ship. It's just you will lose money shipping an item when it's hollow, but it occupies a large space. Yeah. So we just can only sell them when we fill them up yeah. to the brim. It's a round stuff. No, nobody a nobody wants hole. to buy literally, like, literally. Yeah. only a bucket and have it cost like 50, but that's insane. You don't want to do that. So yeah. in this case, we fill it up with stuff, and then it's worth your while and our while to do it. Heck yeah. Showcase so. says, uh, Steve, oh no, we're here, Mike Filer. Yeah. So what do you think the best ceramic coating is for the wheels? Oh, well... Eric? I'm I'm gonna have to go with if you're just getting into it C5, okay. G Technic C5, super easy. 
matte semi-gloss, really any anything wheel-related, calipers, um, if you're lowering your grom with a high-quality coilover. Mm, like an Olin's, mm, some right. sort. Okay. Fun fact, I do have an Olin's on my Really? No. Some he pe- does. Some people would fact. say It's that's, like the that's most overkill. expensive thing on the least expensive thing. Like, yeah. it's a great way to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's impressive. Have you ever ridden, ridden in a Bentley? Because that's what it feels like on, on my butt. On your grom? Yeah. Nice. Like, I feel like I am just cruising for a losing. I should um, get some Olin's for the Elantra, is what you're saying. Hmm. Yeah. That would literally, I think that would that would set that car Olin's, off. if you're listening and you'd like to Sponsor. send me uh, <laughs> a set of coilovers for my 2006 Hyundai Elantra. Road and it's track. a GLS. Yeah. Um, it does have the, uh, not yet, but I do have a Tiburon sway bar for the rear. Yeah. So... That mm. thing on you might need a valve it. it's, it's been far too long, Adam. Shark. Oh, it's a my shark. Hyundai. Yeah. My Hyundai. Um, okay. So, <laughs> what about a Hyundai Escoop? Oh, um, yeah. Back in the day. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, showcase. Steve says, Buck, just hit me. I got your wing. All right. He's not lying. All, all right. right. Emmett right. Emmet says, says, I ordered the IK Pump. Uh, multi, uh, IK Pump Multi In Foam Sprayer Pro 2 Combo Kit earlier in the week. Can't wait to get them and try them out. Awesome, dude. You're going to love them. You will love them. The pros uh, were a significant um, increase in, mm-hmm. in, in quality, durability, and performance. You're going to really, really like them. Uh, we got Texas Polisher. It's an actual polisher. <laughs> He's um, been all over this uh, lately. Video mm. of Levi's 20-minute one-step make it happen, Dane. Yep, he's putting the onus on me, but it's sorry. Right. We've got it. We talked about Levi. this last week. We've got a car. We can do this on. Yeah, it. you know what? You know how that, you know how cake. that would be done. That would be twenty done. minute video. No, that'd non-stop. be done in shooting in the same way that I dried that. Yeah. Yeah. Tra- that Raptor with one towel. Yeah. That's why I started that new playlist called Detailing Uncut. We just show it. There it is. Yeah. We're no gain edits. Literally, literally right. going to show people how to use one pad, some kind of video, and one product <laughs> on a silver car. How to polish it in twenty minutes? It's just like an uncut version of me, like trying to clay bar, and like me dropping it on the ground. I'm like, oh, keep oh, no. it going, oh. <laughs> pick it back up, and I'm like back on the car, I'm like that, uncut. That never happens. You go yeah, out and you yeah. find a pile of leaves, uh, and then you yeah. look around, ball, like, the towel yeah. goes in it, and you like, pick it back I'm up, like and you're like, brushing it out. Good yeah. enough, let's go. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. Does it work? No. Guys, I'm just going to fold it into itself. It'll be fine. The rock it's just a dog sense. inside the burning building. Yeah, this it, is fine. Oh. <laughs> Morgan McMurray, best polisher for a beginner. Thanks. Mm. The best uh, let's, well. uh, like, what's that from the back there, Adam? Let's get, let's get him, yeah, let's get the him on the mic. Yeah, let's get him on the mic. This is an opinion. 15, okay. any day, all day. Okay. Oh. Uh, do, you have a, do you have a mark number on that? One, I two, have a Mark three. three. You can get away with a Mark two or the so, ES. So, okay. Adam Thurman is one of the very few, like ourselves, yes. yeah. who have yes. been able to attend oh, yeah. the okay. Rupes yeah. experience. Wow. Where we have been able to build wow. our own machines from the ground up. Yeah. And a huge shout out to Rupes and Steve, the uh so Steve helped you. Guy, yes. Nice. Fletch didn't. Good dude. Did you nope. meet? Did you meet Fletch? I did not meet. Oh, Fletch, Fletch is awesome, man. Fletch Sorry, had to no, handle all three of us. Like literally, like the world's most face. patient man <laughs> Very in the patient. world. Like like just a just a it's just a giant. Like I love that gentle guy. giant. A gentle giant, just super man nice. Was amazing. So he's 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 the guy who put the big wheel in the tree. No. What? No. Which one? Mm-mm. I don't know. I'm lost. Me too. Hmm. No. There's Weird. A, there's a big wheel in a tree. To be continued. Yeah. We'll Next. To, Next. Yeah. We'll get on more of that. Uh, <laughs> but yes. Edmund Iverson <laughs> says, you guys need to do a video of so wash and bug remover on Adam's Harley for Wash Wednesday. Oh, can my we, gosh. Can we please? Oof. Because I am covered. My bike is covered oh, I bet in it bikes. Is. <laughs> or in bugs, teeth. rather. I had to brush his beard out because it was sticking out below his helmet. He was like, come in, and there's just a lower half. Those those are snacks for later. Did you save those? How mad would Texas Polisher be if he did his 20 minute one step on the Harley? (laughs) We did that actually while we were uh, at Swag Rides. It was a 20 minute polishing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I washed all the tanks on that cop bike. Just scale it down with a little two inch on a nano. It's the same thing. I told Dane that that, you guys polishing that cop bike needs to be a picture because that was a rad shot on Instagram when you guys went out. Yeah, we had, we, had, we had fun with that one. That was a really cool one. I sat on that, turned on the lights. Not sure if you're actually allowed to do that, um, but whatever. You were fine. You were good. You know, whatever. It was, it was in an enclosed space. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt I felt really cool. I felt like I had that cop, that, that big cop energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> big cop energy. Next? <laughs> I had big cop energy, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> 
t-shirt coming your way. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so uh, that's another t-shirt right there for you. Um, Carissa Thomas says, uh, got one. Thank you. Um, Hans Closen says, the one Levi has, Morgan. That's oh, the best see. beginner polisher. Yeah, the uh, that's the uh, Idaho 21. It is. Number one. It is. Idaho number one, yeah. That was the first but you 21 also have in the a state. It's the only one like plate it. on that, which makes it extremely dangerous. It's a very dangerous <laughs> polisher. <laughs> yeah, no, with that five-inch kamikaze on it. No. no, but it's okay. Seen it, seen four thousand cars, at least. Yeah. Bought a um, lot of houses for people. Chris Thomas says, "I'm going to start a detail on an Evo motorcycle. Uh, I'm guessing a Ducati Evo. Uh, plain to ceramic coat, but what about wheels? Uh, hit the wheels too. Knock it out. Um, yeah, do it up." If if you plan on getting into bikes and getting into bike detailing, I highly recommend getting yourself some pit bull stands. Um, mm-hmm. And you can get some pit bull stands with different uh, adapters to, to, to fit. Basically, you can have your normal swing arm. You can have your single-sided swing arm. Uh, and then you can have a triple tree mount uh, or a triple tree stand You'll in the front. You'll save your back, too. Um, those are, I mean, literally a lifesaver. You can grab those. Uh, you can also grab a Harbor Freight motorcycle stand. Those are, are pretty good as well, but they also they have a wheel chalk, and it kind of limits you on being able to spin the wheel and get behind a lot of the fairings. So I'd recommend doing it on the ground with stands. Get it up in the air. Spend money on good stands. If yes. this is something you're wanting to do, and you can make money doing it, buy yourself some Pitbull stands. They will not. They will last you far beyond your years, and... Um. Yeah. Knock out the wheels too. Just make sure you're moving the wheels, and then if you're degreasing or doing anything that involves the chain, right? Uh, that's something you should let the customer know so they know to relube that chain if less you plan on doing it yourself. So put the bike on its side for the chain, though, like downstairs. Yeah. Just lay it on the yeah. plastic. Well, you put it. No, yeah. you put it on the handlebars in the seat, upside down. Correct. Yeah. Like, it helps like, to like make sure you have a lot of sharp, get the chain objects off. on the ground where yeah. you're going to be placing yeah. it, though, because I feel like that just makes well, the environment and, much more. I mean, realistically, to good they say you need a friend, but you can do it by yourself. Correct. Yeah. You can yeah. flip it over. It it's pretty. Easy what you do? do. Okay. Totally. So you're going to put it in gear, right? You're going to rev it up, right? Drop the clutch. And oh, just, yeah, there you go. And yeah. it will just actually whoop. end up yeah, flipping just, itself. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I was thinking of just like pushing it on its side and then picking it up by the wheels. No, no, no that's too heavy. Oh, okay. bad Anthony's back solving well. problems left and right You're going to flip here. it. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you have plenty of room so you don't damage any other cars around you because it would be really yeah, unfortunate. Could I put it next to a off. wall and just run it up the wall? Absolutely. Help? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, put it in first, clutch in, rev it up. Drop oh. that clutch. Should I measure myself just to make sure that I'm tall enough to hold it when it's at when it's on its back wheel? You're just or flipping just... through the air. Like <laughs> you're just supermaning that. None of this can end well, so just send it. Um, okay, so... It's called momentum. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, Rex Panhandle says, just over here unboxing my new Mark III. Awesome. Hashtag weird, weird flex. Weird flex, but okay. No, that is that is something to be proud of. Yeah, though, that is awesome. awesome. Good work, dude. That is a great machine. Ed Iverson, Big Cop Energy, the latest <laughs> energy drink. You take it with a fisherman's friends <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hans man. Closen says the master of shine mark one that is correct Hans that is what we were talking about uh, Emmett says Idaho number one is probably better than number twos fun fact Emmett there's a town here with your name on it there is Emmett Idaho is 20 minutes away I passed it not, right around the corner it's there it's not the best but <laughs> <laughs> it's really not it's, it's, let's go it's, it's, it looks, not it looks great. dry yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry uh, Emmett it's, they did not do your name justice I'm yeah. sorry Luke Berge says, where's Morgan? She's in the other room. Yeah. She's working. I believe she's taking a test. She I is. She is actually think working. I took her chair. You did. She oh. is working on her CD exam as we speak. So she is going to get her CD by the end and of the no day. no one here is helping her, which nope. is pretty clean. She's doing it on herself. So When's the next SV event that you guys are going to have? Uh, actually, fun fact, September 6th. Saturday, oh. September 6th. It's on the uh, IDA calendar. Smart. Where is that going to be at? Here at the Rag Company. Oh, that's weird. I might have to make yeah. another trip up. That's super, yep. super weird. We're going to be doing some some CDs just and some SVs. Strange. All day. Why, why strange, is that strange? It's just a strange day missing? to host that kind of stuff. Is that when I, you're getting well, married? Well, it's not really. It's Maybe. He's getting married that night. So <laughs> we're going to be doing the SV because he's not going to be here. Let's crash his reception. And then you can come up and then you can be my date to his wedding. Boom. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Bring Adam Adam with me. That'd be great. Yeah, well, I think Carly's going to be pretty offended. But, Why? You know, I don't she know. likes Adam. They talk. Well, I, well but she has to stay home. <laughs> we, only no, have, we only have so many plus ones. I'm sorry. No, I've already, I've already RSVP'd. 
for you and Hoenn? There's no, nine of us oh. coming, <laughs> plus eight. most of all the SV people. Okay, Eric's, first off, Eric's um, coming. That's fine. That's fine. I know. Um, I know a lot of people are going to make make an appearance at my well, wedding. Well, what I'm going to do is actually not RSVP. Okay, and then I'm just going to show up. So what's fun? But though? the hard we part call is, that a minus one. No, what I'm going to do is because you know, unlike others, I don't feel guilt for not RSVPing on something. I just show up. Well, whether th- whether you like it or not, what I I'm love coming. is the fact that it, it is a public park. So technically, you could just be there. Well, I'm gonna walk park. my dog. <laughs> we yeah. could just that ride Groms. Yeah, we could. Right and, and you guys, I'm like, Mike. What do you guys? You guys don't even live here. You guys all live in different states. And they're like, we just decided to go for well, a walk. The fun fact is, everyone's just... staying at my house, and it, that park is literally half a mile okay. from my house. As from long as, okay, as I long... can, I can throw rocks at it during your reception. <laughs> And hit you, possibly. Yeah. Or bottle rockets. Or yeah. bottle rockets. <laughs> These are really You're going to be like, why are there the fireworks situation? going off? It's four in the afternoon. We're celebrating. Yeah. And I'm like, you got married, it's bro. Super, it's a super, like, <laughs> I'm like, everybody's really drunk right now. I don't know what's going on. Well, what's going to be ideal is that all of the SVs will be staying at your house, right? Yeah, the MLS HQ. And all of the Grand Bastards will be staying at Dane's house. Yep. It's perfect. And Dane's bed. Yep. <laughs> at least well, they get to see uh, the, on the floor tree, With his fisherman's friend. Yeah. You know what? It's going to be a great time. <laughs> Everybody come out for All Day Anthony's birthday party. Don't know who that is. Um, we're going to be hosting Literally it no at idea. a park down the street from the MOSHQ. Yeah. yeah. So you know, when know. we got some good ones. Oh, yeah. nice. We got Here some we go. good ones brewing. Okay. All right. Rectangle so... says, Levi, do you recommend trading my S14 for 2006 Hyundai Elantra? Absolutely. I have so a no, guy absolutely. that is interested. <laughs> and I give would. it to yes. him. You have, yes. to, you have to weigh the odds here. It's not just about what it's going to be worth in either dollars or what it can do. I think you have to go with economics on this one. Well, it's got it's got four doors compared to the S14, so you got room in the back and a trunk, full size trunk. So, and you know where the S14 is wrong, right? So, wrong wheel drive, right? Wrong wheel drive. Wrong wheel drive. drive. Wheel drive. You got to have a front wheel drive car. Literally, if you, wanna, like, if you want a performance vehicle, if you want to set lap times at here's, Nurburg, here's you where need we talk about this uh, performance. You can take it to the Nurburg ring in the winter, put some four studded snow tires on it. And just go. And just and go. And crash Boom. like everybody else. You no. won't crash. No that's, way. That's, no. That's where, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. That right car, there. that car, upon its H&R lowered suspension, yeah. uh, with its 140,000 mile blown out struts. Mm. I don't call them blown out. I call them uh, Seasoned. They're seasoned. 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 It, uh, rides like a dream. Rides like a dream and handles like it's on rails. <laughs> Almost as if there was ice ice rails uh, holding it in like place. I feel like might be mutually exclusive territory there. <laughs> yeah, it's champion um, in the snow. So I think we I think you have your answer. Um, Emmett says uh, tis okay. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm a top look. <laughs> not sure I'll be able to use the red, white, and blue wash mitt, but I will try for you guys. Awesome, dude. Well, so does I he mean, know like the right if, he, like if he wears white, red. Or blue shorts while shooting Roman candles at a lake well, with beer. He is Australian, so no, it's okay. Saying, but if, if he's using the mitt, then he's fine. He's totally fine. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't yeah. have an American flag on it. It's got the colors of Australia. Yeah, on it. that's it. You're as fine. much as we love America, Australia is pretty awesome too. Yeah. So yeah. If you gotta yeah. you gotta stray it up. Then you do. Luke Berge says, uh, "So I gotta fly out to get my SV." Yes, Luke, you do. Yeah. Hans closing. Good luck then, Morgan. Just renewed my membership a few days ago. Good work, Hansi. Luke Berge, I'm definitely going to show up, Anthony. I wouldn't <laughs> Edmund Iverson says, hmm, for September 16th, I might have to check flights from Boise to Dayton, Ohio. I'll bring a tux just in case. It's actually September 7th. Um, but so the 16th works, too. You can come out the 16th, Ed, <laughs> and wear your tux. <laughs> Dude, You're more than welcome to. He's, gonna be he's just, like, standing in the storefront wearing a tux. He's like, so I'm here? Uh, <laughs> where are we going? Uh, Where's the road? What uh, is the plan? <laughs> Hans, oh, uh, Emmett, by the way, Guys, the website changes are a really good improvement. Makes it so much easier to see what I need. Kudos. Good. Awesome. Send Glad your you thanks, like Emmett, yes. to uh, Nate, Stacy, and Thomas. They spent a lot of time redoing that website. Yeah. By the way, that goes for everybody. If you didn't know the website got a redesign, check it out because it got a big redesign. There's a lot of new stuff. I it was looks so very confused. Different. What did you think, Adam? Seriously, check it out. It's one of the sexiest sites I've ever seen. Oh, it is pretty sexy. High wow. praise. It's mm-hmm. got. We've got a uh, parts finder, basically. I saw it. So you can do your own detail, like figure out what you need, and it brings you down, gives you a few options, less options. Boom. Yeah, narrows you it know, down for people because there's just the too finest much stuff. things, really. 
Yeah. Uh, Hans says, Levi needs to come to Wooden Shoe Land to be my RT for the SV part. Mm. I can do that, Hans, the <laughs> next time I'm sometime there. Uh, but Hans is going to be at Wax Talk, so yes, we'll see him there. we will meet him. Luke, uh, Roman Candles to shoot at Anthony. That's right, Luke. You can come to my house. We'll get on the roof. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm sure he wants that. Rectangle says, yes, the 2006 Hyundai Elantra is a very powerful machine. Even Subaru copied it and made their own version and called it the Blob Eye. <laughs> oh. He's not wrong. You are not Which is wrong. weird and because wow. apparently they're time travelers when the Blob Eye came out in 03. <laughs> True. Well, there, there was already an 03 Elantra. That well, had that same look. Even better. What well, about the wagons? Yeah. yeah. They went straight across the platform. Mm, yep. The wagons. Yep. Yeah. Ugh. There was a GT Elantras for yeah, hatchbacks. Yeah. The, At least the Saab kept the Subaru motor in it. Yes. Edmund Iverson, okay, the seventh. <laughs> Prime detail, Connecticut. I'm looking for the 19-inch drying towel, four-wheel drive with California emissions. Not going to find it. You won't find that, bud. Nope. Hmm. Uh, Edmund Iversons, if you're on this Q&A and haven't been to the new website, then shame on you. <laughs> All you need is everything from TRC, Emmett. Good work, Hans. Aww. Plug it. We still got like 20 <laughs> minutes, guys. I know. So We haven't even talked about less... tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, we started. We just gave it like a summary. Well, so, yeah, like Adam, we said. Here. Yeah. So Adam came up for tomorrow. He wants to come check it out. So we're doing a live Rap Institute event. Justin Pay from the Rap Institute is literally across the street right now. Uh, wrapping my door handles and talking to Jeff. Uh, so they're across the parking lot here in our campus. Because wrapping door handles. He's doing that first. Sucks. Yeah, he said, I'm going to come do that first so we don't have to worry about it. So I had to pull all the door handles off. Uh, um, and he's wrapping those blue? Blue. Wow. Mm, that wow. blue looks so good. And that, so, it, it's something else. Yeah. It mm-hmm. is just. Magnetic it, burst metallic. It mm. hits color. you deep. Courtesy I, of Avery Dennison. When I look at that color. I start going. Let me back go get the swatch so we can all enjoy it. Nice. Nice. All nice. of my past mistakes in life, and really start thinking how I want to better myself for my future and this company. Is that too far? What some say. That's deep. Dane didn't hear any uh, of that. No, I, get, I also don't have oh, a wow. microphone now. So, so <laughs> what's interesting, right? Oh. Okay. Is how Should dusty that, that is. Down? Yeah, it's, that's very dusty. Why is that so dusty? Good Just use of the koozie. Some product on it. Oh, he just wanted to make an example out of it. Look how well that double this towel twistress is, still is wet. doing. This double twistress is that still wet. damp damped. double oh, twistress. Guys. Now I was using that as a cleanup towel earlier, so I... Oh, oh. clean it up for what? <laughs> was, what did you t- spill? This yeah. table. <laughs> oh, okay. um, you just got to see it in the light, though. So there it uh, is. we're going to be oh, wrapping the that. Suburban in this color. The whole body of the Suburban in that. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's Now we're blacking out the bumpers. So, are you pretty excited that you're still going to be able to have a, like a gloss, a glossy finish? Yeah, are you I wanted nervous? a flat finish. Yeah, but then when we decided to do this with uh, Halo, I thought, well, let's go gloss because then let's make it really pop. Yeah, I didn't want it too flashy. So, and are then you, I went really flashy. You, yeah, are yeah. you are you nervous a little around the kids or anything like that about touching up about touching no, it? No, no, they're they'll stay away from it. Ooh, yeah. sticker peel. Oh. <laughs> so no. now one really cool part about this Avery Denison film is that it is um, it is freakishly easy to apply. Well, and this we, stuff specifically because it's got the uh, air release. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Egress. Yep, air egress. It's so you can literally. You can literally. Uh, They'll be able to see it. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you just why don't you wrap this uh, table in it? Well, I while we're sitting here, I can't. Kick it's the it. hardest part. <laughs> it really is. I'm literally. There just, you go. Okay, well, I've started it. Crap. This is not a okay. prepped. So surface. here on the back side, it is uh, perforated. Have you say yeah, that? Yeah, it's got some air holes in it. It so breathes. To speak. It breathes. So it is. Uh, see how it. But what it is is actually channels that allow Great it. Great term. I was looking for that. I yeah. just wasn't finding. Channels that allow there air channels to, to escape through. Right. right? So you're not um, stuck with the bubbles. So yep. I'll go ahead and peel this off here, and we're gonna wrap this um, tabletop. How easy it is. So take this off, and without it wrapping itself on itself, we're just gonna go ahead and lay it right here. And like a placemat for yourself. Like a placemat for myself. Like, like I'm you're fruit. Eat, roll now, um, I mean, it's literally, it's quite, it's quite literally so simple to where you can peel it back up again. I'm like, say I messed up. Oh, back <laughs> up again. All right. Want to go back down? Here we are, and then just brush it out. If I had a squeegee of some sort, I could do it like that, just mm. using my hand. Uh, the rag company also has microfiber gloves. Mm. Yeah, we do have microfiber gloves. You Very can use, helpful. so you don't aren't scratching, uh, this, putting these scratches in, which is awesome. But, but yeah, fun fact, yeah. you can actually polish this stuff and get this that out. Uh, 
but yeah, you can literally just push the bubbles out. So let's say you get a bubble in the middle. You can literally just rub it out, and it'll work its way out, which is yeah. pretty dope. Well, I just put, I just made that one disappear. See this one right here? Yeah. Oh! Gone. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Gone. It's wow. like magic. Easy. Look Easy. At Look at that. Push them out. Um, but yeah, super cool. And then we're going to be laying the coating down over this. And so who's doing all the work? It's going to be you and Andrew? I and thought you Juan. Were doing it. Juan's oh. coming. Maybe oh. you Juan, could do that. I missed Juan's call. Is he coming? Juan, Juan supposedly is coming. So yeah. he'll be up here. Like uh, every everyone's gonna do it. Everyone, 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 <laughs> everyone will be up here. Those to jokes do that. never get old. Yeah. No, the it's goal is to, <laughs> to demonstrate. Ever. So while we're still wrapping the suburban, yeah, uh, G Technic's gonna be talking about halo coating and how simple and easy it is to apply. And everyone's allowed to just come up and put it on the van. Yeah, um, uh, and uh, demo it and try and see. You know, and the goal is that you know more folks that are maybe in the rap game can purchase it and start using it. Maybe upsell their clientele mm -hmm. by providing a coating that is going to protect the co the uh, you know the money they've just put into a wrap. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to help detailers who are looking to add an add an additional service mm -hmm. for their business when they are maybe working with wrap companies or PPF or something that they yep. can you know add that little bit to. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, it's just everybody in and around the industry yeah. that works with this stuff can apply it. Yeah. Say you want to wrap a fridge, why don't you coat that thing in Halo? So I have a question about Halo. Maybe it's been covered. Probably not. Is that specifically just for vinyl? I know PPF is a sort of a vinyl. So vinyl and paper texture. Vinyl. We call nice. it a flexible film coating. So any flexible film is what that Halo is going to coat Perfect. for you. And that is matte. Semi gloss, high gloss, sateen, all of them. How does it differ from Car Pro Skin? Never put the two up against each other myself, okay. but I would say they're competitors. Perfect. So. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited for it, and the boys were excited, and they're gracious to come out all the way yeah, here for that. For sure. But it's going to be fun. So we've got uh, Halo, we've got or the G Technic Halo, we've got Bacon from John Barry Hill Company is providing all the food for us. That's true. Uh, the food, yeah, it's still going to be delicious. So the Berry Hill, uh, John and his uh, lovely wife uh, are old customers of mine, which is really cool, as well as friends of Justin's. So oh. it's kind of full circle. It's kind of neat the way that worked it's out. Fun. Um, and then, uh, and then Fellers, our local Fellers rep, is providing this all is the, the yeah, that's who have bought that from. So Fellers is one of the largest wrap houses in the uh, country. They provide product. All the big brands, tools, equipment, everything you can buy from Fellers. Uh, they ship it anywhere. They even hand deliver it in some cases. If you there's can nerd a, out pretty hard. You can. It's a website that will get you. You can go deep down that rabbit hole uh, <laughs> of stuff. And uh, But it's just a, it's a cool company. They're really neat. Again, started in a two-car garage, and now they're a massive distribution center all the way across yeah, the country. Yeah, and their center here in Boise is super cool. Well, their, their center here, yeah. yeah we, you and I went and checked it out last year. Extremely well organized. Um Literally, you walk in there and they have you know a bay inside there. Uh, they're, I mean, they're shelving for quite literally every single product, you know, no matter how big or small it is. And um, you can you can buy it online and go and pick it up in the store if you live here in Boise as well. Or they'll drop it off sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and you can do that as well. You got delivery, which is nice. Um, there's a shipping times. rolls are wrap. Yeah, They're cheap. Yeah, yeah. So it's no. pretty rad. And the, so they're providing uh, a lot of the just extra scraps and all the black for us, as well as. You know, uh, working with us on getting product from Avery. They've been we've been using Avery for through Fellers, so um, pretty awesome stuff. And then uh, yeah, so it'll be good. So we're gonna be yeah. doing that from nine to three thirty tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, the truck is currently prepped, sitting in the studio. Uh, we're doing this in the white room, and it's sitting there, prepped, ready to go. Mirrors are off, door handles are off. Truck's good to go. Anthony clayed the whole thing today. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that's himself. a lot of claim. He did. Yeah, yeah it so was a lot of claim. Someone did ask uh, what the proper prep is. Yeah. Oh, right? okay. Here we go. So it's all going to depend from what I've seen, how old the car is. But for the most part, a thorough decontamination after a wash. Something like panel wipe is is very good. A lot of the wrap guys I know are having really good success with that. And then the wrap industry itself has a bunch of different primers and so on and so forth to really get the edges to hold down and a bunch of tricks and like we have for detailing. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see. One, I haven't seen seen the car driving around town because <laughs> it's in my neighborhood, uh, but I haven't seen it up close since last year when we did it. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it'll be interesting to see yeah. what it looks like tomorrow when so it shows up. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah. 
it was and that <laughs> once was, you that see it you can't unsee it yeah. i remember it was a very long day it was a long day but i'll never forget when justin says um because justin's very soft spoken he's like all right guys we're gonna be doing the front bumper right now and uh if you want to come in close this guy literally did the front bumper of that this. odyssey he goes he he literally goes i'm gonna do the front bumper here sticks it uh, yeah Done. like and it's done. And we were like, <laughs> like, what? What did we just watch? How did that just happen? It You're a happened. wizard. <laughs> he literally Dude's like magic. just threw it on. And we were like, what? Hi. Well, because I'm sitting there with these cards. Like, don't Hold you on. have to <laughs> these holes? And he's like, just if you guys want to follow along here, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this right here. And, and then that night I was inspired. And yeah. I went and took some black vinyl to my hood and I set it on there. <laughs> Turns out harder than it looks. <laughs> it, instantly I set this black vinyl on my hood. And then it went. <laughs> looked like that. <laughs> it looked like that. And I was like, mm. well, that didn't work the way well, it said. Watch a PPF guy try vinyl or watch a vinyl guy try PPF. Oh, it they, makes you feel way better. They good, think good. they've got it figured out. and then, But they don't. Mm. Dude, they really and, that different, yeah. huh? Wow. And I don't even know what I align with more because I've done PPF. Not great. I've tried vinyl. Not great. <laughs> Detail car, though. So I, I just don't know. Uh, there's got to be some learning curve that a detailer has to get. Get, well, get, that's the fun part about the Rap Institute. Yeah. You can sign up and, le- and, and learn. pay a monthly yeah. fee, and you get access to everything. He all did, the videos. He did, he did a great cool job stuff. with that. So, really and uh, you can watch them all and learn them and figure it out. So I've been doing that this last year. I have been watching Rap Institute videos. The only problem is I haven't had enough vinyl to play with. So hopefully after this, I'll have some vinyl I can play with and do stuff with. So an important programming note for those who are wondering. On our YouTube channel, there is a live stream set up scheduled to happen tomorrow so Mm -hmm. if you're looking for it it's already up there you can just hit the little set reminder thing and it'll tell you when we go live um but yeah so we are actually doing a live stream tomorrow at the show and it's probably gonna we're gonna try and work on multiple camera angles so we might bring out multiple cameras maybe have the drone out there we'll see but we're we're gonna try and give people a a few good good looks around so one way or another you'll be able to see on this channel the live stream of the rap you'll be able to see adam thurman walking around which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Now we I will see say Eric and Andrew yes. giving their demonstration. Yeah. I, I will say sweet. Justin is soft spoken, so if you can't hear everything we'll that's try going to have on, mic'd. apologize. But just know you'll be able to see it. We just can't guarantee you'll so hear speaking it. Speaking of, everything. that's the one thing we forgot to take over is the the speakers. Got to yeah. get those over. Tim is the only one that knows how to use those, so um, we'll work on that. Help us, Tim. <laughs> we'll work. We don't on know that. how to use that system. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, DJ right. or no DJ. Uh, Tim is our DJ. Okay, Tim is a DJ. Great. He's gonna be dropping some sweet. Because you know we can't have an event without a DJ. <laughs> well, DJ OB. Yeah. yeah, Tim doesn't know this, but he is DJing my wedding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> had to cut costs somewhere. Yeah. It will be a rap event, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, one Tim, way or another. I'm like, Tim, this going is the on. fifth time you've played Gucci Gang. I think <laughs> guests, guests are starting to leave. I so don't... he pulls out his vape pen and just tells you to <laughs> suck it. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that from dinner. Showcase Recon is my flip flop connect. He is. Oh, He's your right. Gucci flip flop yes. guy. I wish he was still on because yeah. you said you'll get him. Yeah. yeah. Nobody well, tells DJ sure. Request what to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Rectangle says, Calling it a day, guys. Catch you tomorrow on the live. See you, man. Luke Berge says, Wait, can I actually come? Of course, dude. It's always available. Uh, unless you're talking about Anthony's wedding, then you need to wait till you get an evite apparently, <laughs> yeah, and not yeah. an actual. You hey, you got written... an actual invite, and you didn't seem very appreciative over that. Oh. Oh. I got, it. I've got it. It's hanging up on my think, in my office. I think it caught everybody. Shelf. I think it caught everybody off guard because it had the sounds of uh, a woman moaning. Well, I don't know how that happened. I think it was I don't a mistake. Either, but that Why was didn't very anybody confusing. get that on video? <laughs> we did. Oh, okay, I, I got to see during this. the live stream. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Yeah. It is on the live stream. One of our okay. best yet. Okay. Yeah. It was great. No getting around it. Uh, (laughs) Ed says the what will you be doing any live vids tomorrow? Yes, Ed, we'll be doing a lot of check ins. Uh, Prime Detail says, well, so much for the parts finder. Uh, (laughs) Then Ed says that blue exudes big cop energy. Nice. Uh, Ed Iverson, what's the best prep for applying this vinyl? Uh, We've basically clayed the car and uh, wiped it all down with uh, paint coating surface prep at the moment. Um, and then Han says, stop giving bad news. TRC behind the scenes, Tim, uh, microfiber gloves sound good for hand sandies <laughs> Hand shandy. Didn't think you were going to read <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yeah. You read it. Han <laughs> says, I feel attacked. <laughs> Prime detail. Oh, rag company. Uh, Tim says Hans, I feel like attacked. 
Prime Detail, uh, Steve says, how difficult is it to get into PPF or vinyl? I'd like to offer headlights and door pillars. Uh, pretty simple, dude. Just find an installer in your area and start working with him and see if he can show you how to do some of those things. Uh, especially if you're detailing, maybe you need to use him, uh, for, to offer that service and vice versa. Rocco's Modern Life, most quality vinyl on the market, has air channels and self-healing properties nowadays. You are correct. Uh, and then, uh, Luke Berge, what's the life of Halo? If maintained properly, up to two years. Heck yeah. And so how many applications solid. could you get like, what, like out of this one bottle here? So the 30 mil bottle on gloss, you'll get probably two Miatas out of that. Nice. Or one Suburban. Or one Suburban. Yeah. 50 mil for one very large Suburban. Well, I'm thinking in terms of, like, how long do people keep their wrapped cars the same wrap? If they're you'll, the kind of people who wrap their car, you'll they're be surprised. usually changing it a lot, right? I think 50-50, honestly. Oh. I think half the people, it's it's a one and done, and yeah. they just leave it because they like it. you know. But what we've been seeing, especially on the mat, so Levi said, we can go back and either using heat or polish, we can fix gloss, yeah. whether it's vinyl okay. or paint protection film. Yeah. The matte stuff, not so much. So especially the mat work, you definitely want to get it coated so, right away because so it can stain. Defects, I mean, correct. Yeah. You can, I put a swatch of the flat on it and then ran it through the car wash just for fun and uh, was not holding up. That's great yeah. to think about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, um, good to be. Thinking. And that was only, and it was only on the truck for like the winter. Yep. Three months. I like to bring something up if I can. So the other day when we had that, that my friend's Raptor and Alex's mm-hmm. Raptor, yeah. she has a uh, matte uh, vinyl on the hood. This is Raptor, right? Like a Raptor yep, logo. Black. Um, that has begun to crack. Yeah, and it um, actually looks marble. It looks because it's like, cracked uh, and the white like is dinosaur skin, right? Because it's on the hood. Center. Because one yep. of the hottest parts on that mm-hmm. truck, dead center, um, and it's begun to crack. And I have a pretty strong feeling that if that were to be tried to be peeled off, that's going to come off in pieces. Yeah, it's very mm-hmm. brittle. But at that it's, point, if it's already started to break into chunks, you can basically plan on yeah, it breaking it off. You're yeah, gonna have to yeah. erase or wheel that whole yeah. thing. Um, so. Uh, how difficult? All oh, right, we got that. Han says, uh, "You're safe, Tim. I wouldn't hurt my TRC brothers. Oh, you're safe, Tim. My brothers and sisters, bothers and sisters, might get, <laughs> might skipped, get skipped a few stroopwafels, stroopwafels though. What That's... are these creepy little? Uh, they're the, the like cry baby chicks emojis. Yeah, they're the, they are. Yeah, YouTube. yeah, they're just the effed up version on YouTube. They do not look right. Rocker's modern, Rocko, Rocko's modern life. Like Fellers, rocks. sugar puffs from Easter. <laughs> One here. In, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. The one here in Louisville treats me like family, just like you all. Aww. 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 It's the nicest rock I'll ever. Yeah. Hans says, thanks again for all the 8 um, I don't know what eight that inches. means. Eight inches. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome there, Hans. What was that? Over there, it sounded like it went, oh, okay. That's just no, Levi's he laugh. He, he did. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Wow! This no one's gonna Tim, you want to knock it down and see what's next? If that's the last one, or we're five minutes from out. Honestly, this guys, this is super fun. Just laying down this vinyl and just relaying it. Well, you can do that tomorrow. That's one There's of the like fun facts. We have three store. hoods. Well, here available to play with. Let me break your heart. Try to wrap the bottle. Ooh, oh, with oh, no wow. heat. Are you? I need a knife because I need. This is too much wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I. What do you want wrap me to do? Box. I can't do any or guys. A bigger bottle. The conditions you're trying to have me wrap this in is not ideal. Oh, you mean like live on camera wrap in front of bottle. everyone? <laughs> wrap the bottle. Wrap your phone. Oh. It's <laughs> gross. He's going to try that Morgan roll spit it jar? up. It, well, yeah, when she started <laughs> using chewing tobacco, we were all a little caught off guard. <laughs> 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 we were like, Morgan, what? And Morgan's like, don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, I think you got this, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, He's like, I got this tabletop wrapped, no problem. Yep. Uh, wrap that IK sprayer over there. I, I, I don't know. Good. Um, any other questions, guys? Uh, here we oh, go. There, there's uh, Hans, Hans retracted, retracted that eight inch mark. Yeah. Uh, thanks for all the work on my one wing kit. John is the man. He needs a medal. Yeah, Hans. You're, you need what? to let him know. He's appreciative of it. He got it today. What are you today. thinking? US only, man. <laughs> I was Y'all. laughing so hard when I saw that come yeah. through. I'm like, hold on, he's not in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, and he knew damn right he was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, I this will have. I don't this. speak yeah, English. Yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all be safe. I can't wait to see the Ragnarok when it's done. Peace. Thanks, Rocco. So yeah, when we did the one wing challenge and we launched it, we stated U.S. only. Yeah. Lower forty eight. 
We're it not, makes perfect sense. We're not shipping yeah. two boxes to Hawaii or Alaska. Mm-hmm. And then we held the eBay or the auction. Tundra. <laughs> right. Well, or we yeah. didn't have to worry Guam. about Alaska right. or Hawaii, yeah. as it turns out. I mean, yeah. yeah. So then uh, two folks won from the U.S. It was quite nice. And then Hans won. And I was like, oh, it's a kind of a, that looks like a funny, I know that name. It's not really an American name. Like, well, no, I saw the, I didn't see the Hans. I saw his, like, handle, his eBay handle. Yeah. And I was like, huh. And then I looked it up, and it was Hans Closen, <laughs> Netherlands. And I was like, Hans, no! Like, oh. Going in. So, fun oh. fact, the, so one thing we had to tell him was, just so you know, all those American machines won't work in Europe. So Hans, behind the scene, has been doing a ton of research to try and get, uh, he's got to replace modules, he's got to replace cords, mm-hmm. he's got to do all that stuff to convert those over. Thankfully, <laughs> he's been able to figure it out, and he's got somebody to help him. Oh, nice. He also is PPFing those signed polishers Yes. Yep. to protect the uh, integrity of all the signatures on it. So shout out to the guys in Peru trying the 110 game mm. with their machines. Mm. Trying. Wow. wow. So the speed on the threes now, the newer speed controllers, the, the actuated trigger, yeah. so it giving them a ton of problems with the older stuff, they're actually able to rock and roll with it, hmm. which is kind of cool. But yeah, yeah it's going to no, be interesting. The, the 220 stuff, it's different. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So You're doing pretty good. He's going to get them converted, and it's uh, going to be pretty neat, though. But it'll be nice. Hopefully, you can actually use them. It'll be great. But that was the main reason. Yeah. So. Uh, Rocco says, uh, oh, already that. Ed says, gonna say goodnight, fellas, and best wishes to a successful rap party. See you, Ed. Han says, I don't read English. No, I just took a leap. <laughs> <laughs> With his peeps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Luke says, later, y'all. I'll try to catch a live video tomorrow. Matt Gibb. Hey, Matt guys. Gibb PPF. Late. I don't have the patience for it. We'll stick <laughs> to the polisher. That's all right, Matt. It's all right, Matty. You can do it. Matt's in Australia, just waking up for this beautiful Saturday morning. Yep. Uh, so this is better than cartoons. Yeah, this is what he does. <laughs> Usually, he wakes up with us, spends his Friday morning with us as we talk live. I guess it is Friday. For it's him. Friday morning for him. Yeah. yeah. Hans says oh, I talked to Roops here, and oh, Luke, Hans will be over tomorrow. Hans will be over tomorrow to steal the rotary. Hans says I talked to Rupes here, and converter to one ten volt is what I will do. No need to replace modules and wires. Yep, that's yeah. what the guys from Peru are doing. Nice. That's nice work, dude. <laughs> yeah, you got um, it. Close. It's coming along. Um, it. No give heat me, either. Give me, no. Yeah, give me another hour. If you had heat, <laughs> it would help. Yeah, so I'll just continue just working. Just like texture on it and... Just a whisper. Yeah, yeah. whisper of just, heat. Just, just a whisper a, of heat. Just a, I don't know about... We should be saying whisper on here. Whispers. Well, that is Morgan's spit jar, so... <laughs> oh. Hey, look. We made it. We did it. Five Boom. o'clock. Woo! Thanks, guys, for uh, checking in. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Watch the uh, live stream. Eric tomorrow. was really wondering how we were going to fill two hours. He was so and confused it went by so that. fast. Right? Pretty yeah. crazy. It's surprising, isn't it? We, we just hang out and enjoy week. this. Yeah. It's fun. We try to have a lot of fun with it. We come up with fun things like uh, wrapping spit jars, like wrapping <laughs> spit jars and Dane's uh, future wedding plans. Oh man! There you go, so, guys. Nice. Um, oh, beautiful. Dane's. Pay you lots it's of like money. It's like the world's for that. worst candy wrapper. The fun Way part about this wrap, though, is you can now take it off yep. and lay it back out. Heat it up and throw it on the ground. It's true. No. All right, guys. So unless anybody else has further things to add i'll close this out how's that take it away dane let's go all right guys thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching if you're somewhere in the future listening to us on a podcast platform we appreciate it leave us a review while you're there we always appreciate that too and if you're watching this live of course just give us a thumbs up and make sure you share this with a friend who has detailing questions so they know the next time we do this it's always helpful to have more people come in and you know liven up the conversation get more questions rolling through so uh until next time adios See ya. See ya. Don't say any cuss words yet.